Welcome to High Rollers. I think we're live. We are live. We are live. frozen. Hello. Yeah, we are now live. Uh, great. We had a bit of an issue with our audio, so Steve couldn't count us in. So apologies for that rough start there. Uh, it just flashed up like, you're live. It's only as rough as you're making it. It's true. <laughs> well, it's because I wasn't like, there was a thing in my way. Shut up, Chris Trot. Shut Welcome. up, Chris Trot. Shut up, Chris Trot. The catchphrase of this show. Welcome Aww. to High Rollers, the D&D campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch. Hello. Every Sunday. Uh, I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. And joining me... Woo! Thank you. Thank you. The props I deserve, quite frankly. I'm clapping because everyone else is clapping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, joining me, Tom Hazel. Hello. Kim. Yo. Chris Trot. Hello. And joining us again, Alex Smith. Sadly, Katie couldn't join us again this week. Um, Why do but I not get my story? Birthday girl. Just because Kim. Kim. Do you want to be Kim Richards? You can be Kim Richards, Reed Richards, Dang Fantastic Richards. Four. Reed Richards. Mm. What a series, Fantastic Four. Yeah. Probably the best. Richards is elastic. Huh? Tom, you check so. your mind. Pusty and what do you mean? grumpy. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Strong and tough. Come in. Steve, you might need to come in and fix him. Uh, whilst I do <laughs> yeah, some fine. announcements. Oh, the, the teeth. Do it. First things first, we've got a brand new T-shirt in the store. None of us are wearing it though. <laughs> but it looks so good on people. But why, it looks so why good. I good. Someone else would wear it. Yeah, so I, I, I forgot to put mine on. Uh, I'm wearing <laughs> a hat film shirt, which is the one. Hey. Uh, Store.yogscast.com. It's a brand new shirt with uh, your four favourite characters. Um, so, not Smith. Um, and no Trelamar. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> no, uh, it's got the four characters. If you've seen our poster art, uh, it's got that on there. Um, it's really, really fucking cool. Good job, Sorry. Nina. Thank you very much for doing that one. That's on the store now. What else is on the store is I believe there is a spring sale going on as well. There are some items which are discounted. 50% off all posters, I think. I yep. lost. I, I don't want to say that with, <laughs> with any confirmation. That more but... <laughs> confirmation than what you just gave it as. But yes, I believe I there is so. a spring sale currently on. <laughs> Um, you can check that out. There's a bunch of discounted prices across the store. And don't forget that if, you spend, if you're in the Americas or elsewhere in the world and you spend over £80, the shipping is free. So nice. you can stock up on all lots of different things. Speaking of spending over £80, it's Smith's birthday. <laughs> Turn the lights waffles. on. Turn the lights on. Oh, uh, hold on. It's got lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can see those. Yeah. That looks great. Can you see it on those? Can Just barely, barely. Just barely. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit sparkly. Oh, yeah. Birthday girl. Alex Smith, um, 30 years old. You had a lovely day out in London. One of us. I had a lovely day, what well, evening? But I'm yeah, feeling a little bit today. Yeah, um, feeling a little bit today. Hanging uh, a bit. It's going to help me channel my inner grumpy dragonborn. That sounds perfect. You did have get to meet one of your favourite authors though. We had Brian McClellan come around York Towers. I did. It was get really to cool. Brian he signed McClellan. some books for me. What a uh, guy, Smith. He was lovely yeah. with his wife. He was very nice to talk to. I wish I had more time to ask him about all the secrets. <laughs> I have so many really plot stuff. related secrets. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so well, I'm sure we can. You've got him on Twitter now, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to pump him for information. Swing those DMs. And then the last thing to announce, I know I keep banging on about it, but uh, Wizards of the Coast, the stream of many eyes. It's happening June 1st to the 3rd. Uh, it's going to be streamed on twitch.tv forward slash DND. I will be involved in a number of things going on in the week. Um, it will be streamed. So a lot of people have been saying, like, is it going to be streamed? Do they talk like that, Mark? Yeah, they do. I feel like, uh, they, do. I feel like they do. <laughs> is it going to be streamed? Yes, it is. Yes, it's shut up. Yes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Tron Katie won't be there anymore, but I will be DMing a live game, which is very exciting, on the Sunday. So you'll be able to watch me. I think it's 10 a.m. PST it starts. What amazing guests have you got? The amazing guests I have, Chris Trot. Thank you for asking. Oh, wow. Fucking Jesus. This is... I've got Sam Regal from Critical Role, Emmy Award winning Sam Regal. Wow. Whoa. Uh, Towson Jeffrey and Ashley Johnson. Also, Ashley Johnson from hits, from NBC sh hit show Blindspot. I'm not sure if it's on NBC. And, and Critical Role. Again, or... And Critical Role. What's that? Do you want to try that one again? No. Okay. Um, also, Matthew Lilliard, who you may know from movies like Scream, Hackers, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Mm. Yeah. Scooby Doo. Yeah, I do. I, I Hackers do. is my main one that I know him from because I'm old as fuck. Yeah, I love you Hackers. I said Hackers, I would have been right there. I, I now know exactly who you're talking He's, about. He's um, a serial killer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a pretty big deal. Big deal. Yeah. That's and there might be even <laughs> more guests <laughs> yes. announced too. Wow, it might be even more guests. That yeah. is an exciting time to be alive. <laughs> Your sarcasm. Did that I love sound genuine. So I was trying Tickets to be genuine. Tickets are available now. Uh, you can pick those up. You can come meet me. I'll be there to sign stuff, meet people. It's going to be epic. So check out the stream of many eyes. Please. You're basically DMing a critical role game <laughs> with Matthew Lillard in it and maybe yeah. some others. Yeah. yeah. Of all it's the people I'd want. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to... Um, scream. Was, <laughs> he's, so he's asking on Twitter for a character name and I've given them a very like 
the, the theme of the adventure is very set, mm. and I'm not sure how well that's going to translate in, but we'll see. I'm sure he's going to surprise about me. about Dungeon Delver 69? Yeah, sure, that yeah, would be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Loot whore. Well. Loot whore. <laughs> Loot slut. That would be yours. <laughs> that would be um, mine. But yeah, so a little teaser. It's going to be called, uh, I think I've called it Adventure Impractical, A Stone Unturned. Oh. oh. He's so good at naming the campaign, so shame he's not so good at writing them. <laughs> <laughs> God. Said somebody in the Hello, Hello yeah. darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Just zoom in there, play that music trick. So, uh, should we do a One quick? Thing. Go on. Gold Lightful Dice will be restocked very soon, hopefully in the next week. Mm. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Check the Twitter. Check the Twitter. Are, are these super biased, yeah? These always almost roll natural 20s. Yeah. So get anything, Chris, get anything Alex Smith said is not representative of high roll. Get your gaming advantage now with these uh, dice. <laughs> that it's we not might now, in a week when it's really yeah, hey, Not a natural one. I literally just got <laughs> a natural one. That's a faulty one. That's a faulty one. <laughs> Put it in the bin. Yeah. Right, recap then. So, uh, on the last time that our adventurers were present, uh, in Talisval, having defeated the Broken Sky, they spent some time recovering, recuperating. Um, Laura was, was uh, discussed with her family and the other elves um, as the Feywild is currently under attack by an Archfey, and so she is going to help them. However, a bracelet has been given to Juto that will enable her to return as soon as she is able. Um, Adric introduced the party to an old companion of his, an old, uh, an old friend who had helped him escape Brasaris called Balathas Gurnak, which has been played by Smith. Just after I closed that door, remember yeah. that? I'll open the window. I'll open the moment. window, yeah. Anyway. Pushing my buttons there, uh, <laughs> Carry on. Tom Hazel. Just about um, to say, it was a critical moment. Balathas <laughs> was a, a spy or a kind of shadowy commander and has been assisting a Dragonborn resistance out in Brasaris who are opposing the tyrant Korak. Um, the party have decided to head to a secret village in the mountains that Juto had founded for freed tiefling slaves. Um, and you had spent a couple of days on the airship getting there. When you arrived, you made your way into the desert kingdom with Cam and Reynard discovering the, uh, the heat and humidity and uh, uh, uncomfortableness of a desert Struggle. lifestyle. Yeah. Um, where you found the village of Ziu, where Juto was surprised to learn that the three tieflings had been working with some metallic dragonborn, being led by an older female one called Saja Voxar, who is leading a resistance there. Uh, you also met up with Saito, a tiefling thief that you had made friends with in earlier adventures, yeah. um, and Juto was also reunited with a close personal friend, Yuan Yang. Um, as Juto introduced Cam and Reynard to her parents' memorial, a shrine dedicated to their memory, there was a sudden flash and crack of magic, and five chromatic dragonborn um, appeared. Uh, Balithas identified them as the Claw of Tiamat, an elite assassination squad sent to deal with Doesn't significant look good, guys. Doesn't the look Church good. of Tiamat. And we were, in fact, at the top of a new combat round in the middle of a battle. Quick question. Yes. Are, well, Steve goes to map cam. Are dragonborn cold-blooded? Maybe. Uh, Why? Does that, it matter? Tell me, lizard just boy. Just wondering, because like, if it's really hot, then surely they'd be like oh, energetic and like really. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess yes. they would be cold that's, blooded then. Cool. Right. So I get advantage on my rolls. No. Uh, yes. You just function like a normal human being. I, know, I function like a normal. But you lizard. get really sleepy at night. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we are in the middle of a battle as the uh, the fang the the claw of Tiamat has basically uh, begun to sort of like take apart the party slowly, uh, each seeking out different targets. All of them seem to be specialists in different areas. And we begin at the top of the round with Juto. Um, oh, now nice. the I white, I can say that, anymore. I'm the dungeon master. Uh, the white uh, dragonborn um, is currently polymorphed into a chicken. Um, oh, several okay. of the others. This boy here is oh, covered in knows. fucking little miniature men. Isn't he? Yes, oh, the yeah, red yeah. dragonborn oh, who is wearing full armor is covered in like little toy soldiers. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Dead in, in amongst his armor. Yes. Like Ant Man. What's Blue Boy? Like, he's, he was. That's, um, you saw him, he Adric. shot a blast of oh, lightning bolt. Yeah, that Sorry. guy there. He seemed to be able to conjure lightning and uh, blasted the line, which you and uh, Reynard is definitely. Is he also the boy that tries to do the gas bomb? No, that was the green dragonborn, who is the tiny oh, goblin. Oh, so have a green. Creepy. Um, Yuan Yang, does she. She's kind of backed up into the corner and isn't really sure how to get out. Like, there's no real easy escape for her. But no Looks one's... like she might, like, try and rush into the shrine. No one's, like. At this point, no. Okay. No one's looking at her. Uh, I'm going to attack. Feared her, didn't they? Blue yes, boy. she's currently afraid of the green 19 to attack Blue Boy. Uh, so you're going to move up to him? Yes. Okay. Would your um, chicken like to attack me? The chicken will attempt to. But I'm to. not technically moving out of his It misses. Of, of you do when you go to. Yeah. Well. Uh, no, no, really. It missed you anyway. You're so. lucky, you missed. So, attack roll to hit blue. 
Uh, 19. 19. That will hit. Uh, that is a hmm? 14 no. regular damage really cool. and 2 radiant. Yeah. So 16. Uh, can I stunning strike that, please? Okay, so as you hit him, as a reaction to being hit, uh, as you kind of, as your Guandao connects, his blood seems to kind of trickle and crackle with lightning. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Wait, a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. That changes everything. Yeah, blue seems this to be channeling lots of light. Perfect. One thing. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen is not enough, actually. But I take half. You take half because of evasion. Yep. So that's going to be uh, 16. So you take eight points of lightning damage as the kind of lightning crackles down the Guandao, and then I will make a constitution saving throw. What is your... Instead of a 30 year old that. Uh, what's DC the DC? 16. It fails. He is stunned. He is stunned. Oh, boy. Um, hold on, 65. Just crunching some numbers. Hold on a sec. I'm just... What's 65 minus 8? Uh, 54. 50. 7. 67, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um... Okay, so he's stunned right now. So yes. Cannot... So you've used your first attack. So yeah. if you want to, you have to make a second attack. Yeah, I'm attack. just going to wail on him. So you have advantage, oh, I believe. I've got a natural one, but I can roll again, can't I? You can. Yep. Are you lucky? Advantage, because he is stunned. Uh, 16. 16 hits. Oh. Um, this guy doesn't seem that hard to hit. You got plus 12. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. the Gwandao's enchanted. Uh, <laughs> 10, 15 total. Okay. Damage. That so that second blow cuts deep into his side, and you can now see the kind of dark, very very dark red blood kind of trickling down. Um, but he just kind of seems to be completely taken aback by the shock of the first blow. Flurry. So you flurrying? So you're spending the key point now. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen hits. Mm -hmm. um, eight. Oh, 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 oh. Six. Oh! Yep, so he is currently, uh, you punch in, you can feel oh, wait, several no, bones crush. I've got crush. advantage, haven't I? You do have advantage. Same. What was it? I just wanted to see if it was a crit. Oh, I see if it was yeah. a crit, yep. So, and then float the second flurry attack. Uh, 27. Hits. <laughs> this guy doesn't, he's not wearing armor, he's just got like loose robes. No, wait, that's the wrong dice. <laughs> 11 points of damage. Okay, so with that, um, you watch as Juto just, you slam your fist, like the, the secondary punch of the flurry comes in, you hear an audible crack from his sternum, um, and his, like, there's almost like a rush of air, like suddenly air is kind of like pushed out of his body, and he just crumples to the floor. Oof. Dead. Yeah. Nice. Peace off, guys. I'm just um, gonna be like really furious, like absolutely furious. Okay, and yeah, so you're just like slamming into this yeah. thing. Um, really shouting at you on to get to safety. Okay, yeah, she just kind of seems a bit stunned and you can see that her eyes are just locked oh. on this figure in red and she's just, red. Okay. can't. she can't move any closer to him. So she's kind of trapped in this oh, corner. Yeah, right. um, Korak on his turn is just like, ah, and you can see that he's still blinded by some sort of effect that kind of went off um, in his face. It's kind of blinding flash of a, of a strike. Um, but he will try and strike at the one in red uh, with disadvantage. Uh, that is going to be a miss oh, on the first one. That's great. However, his second attack does still hit. Nice. Do, 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 do. So that's going to be seven plus. How much cheese seven, can we stand there? Cheese. So you watch as Korak kind of swings wildly, but one of his glancing blows just manages to catch the one in the red on the back. Um, uh, the one in the red just kind of is just like, ah, I'll deal with you shortly, Adric. First, your friends oh, must die. Uh, Reynard, I believe you are next. Is he going to do hey. something troubling? <laughs> well, I'm just asking how much cheese can we handle today? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so Polymorph. When I hit it, doesn't it turn it back to normal? Once its hit points are reduced to zero, yes. It'll turn back to normal, even if I chop its head off? Yeah. Because you're killing that form, and then it reverts to its original form. Any additional damage you do over the chicken's one hit point will carry to the new form. Oh, okay. So even if I chop its head off, does he come back with no head? No. Okay. Um, in that That's case... That's not how polymorph works, I'm afraid. I'm going to... Swing Axel across the room. I know, what a scrub. He doesn't even know how Polymorph works. Mm. I'll swing Axel across the room so, and <laughs> have him slice at the red guy. Okay. Um, oh, that's uh, 14 plus 9, so that's 23. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, 1d6 plus 4. 2 plus 4. That's 6 damage. 6 points. And then I want to use... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, shit. No. 
we fucked it. Lightning arrow, casting it. I thought it was a it's casting it on the attack. No, it's a bonus it's... action to... I'll send it. You axled. I axled when I should have... Well, what would you like to do with your action and movement? I want to shoot this guy twice. Okay. Um, so I'll sharpshoot at the first one. Oh, maybe. Um, Wait, no, they're not facing. 23 them. minus 5, 18. 18 does hit him. Hey, hey, oh. That one, that one. 3, 4, 7, 6, uh, 13, 23. 23. You watch as, through some sort of like extreme reflexes, it still hits him, but he turns this like quite grievous blow into like a scratch along his arm as he uncannily dodges to the side. Fine, I'll sharpshoot him again. So was it 23, did you say? Yeah. Oh, he's getting really angry. Oh! Natural 20, big shit. beep! <laughs> shit. <laughs> Used his reaction. Uh, so that's just a D8. So double so D8. 4 plus 6, 10, 20 damage. Nice. With the sharpshooter as well. Whoops. Uh, no, he kind of like, the first one he kind of dodges to the side, but he doesn't expect you to be able to re-aim so quickly. Mm -hmm. And the second one like catches him right in the shoulder as he's kind of like borrowing that son of a bitch. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> oh! Um, yeah, so you kind of, <laughs> you take two shots. <laughs> Not uh, you I won't move, I'll stay where I am. Okay, so uh, a couple of things happen. So the first one is the guy in red, uh, like all of these things are surrounding him. He's just like, enough of these games. He slams his sword on the or his glaive like pommel on the ground, um, and he. What level did you cast? What level is animate object? Five, I believe. Five, just its base level. Okay. So you watch as he slams this on the ground. The animated objects crumble in, like just turn back to normal. He casts spell magic. That oh, is... does that work on Axel? <laughs> uh, Axel drops to the ground. You can reactivate him, but. Oh, yeah. What's the range? Uh, so, hang on. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Can somebody look up the spell magic if... Actually, I've got my plans to look somewhere here. Hey, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be like a 20-foot radius, so... If Hey, Siri had D&D &D things, that would be awesome. Alexa does. Well, Alexa does. Yeah, not very good. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, yeah, I choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. So he, he's choosing okay. to end the anti-magic effect, so... It doesn't affect Axel or, um, or spiritual weapon. Okay. But he does basically slam this pommel and the animated objects just kind of go like boop, 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 boop and fall oh. off. Him. You broke your toys, um, eh? Not your toys. Oh, you should then, have been, a search function. Can you move uh, red um, up to Juto, actually? Correct. Oh, well, yep, correct, but he is blinded, so that's going to be a miss. Um, oh, as he just swings wildly. Isn't that an attack from a Mohawk dude as well? Uh, Balathis. Could in th no, he would move to the edge of Korak and then move down. So no, he doesn't. Wait, um, him? Yeah. yeah. Is he a goodie? That's Balathus. So oh. he would go to the edge and then move down. Um, however, casting the spell no, magic was, was his. He action. was there. Yeah, he yeah. was there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Balathus would get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can attack. You can make um, a melee attack. You can attack Smith. What? A you melee get attack. attack opportunity. You get oh, a melee attack on red guy. Oh. So it's well, kind of like moving out of your range. You can. I bring it. out my hands of the eager informant. So the I've got two knuckle dusters. What do they look like? They'd probably be like. Um, they might actually be made from obsidian because Brasaurus has a lot of obsidian. Yeah, weapons. these things are just like really ugly looking, like crude implements that I had in my pocket. So it's just like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> uh, you know, I just <laughs> hit, hit him in the face. Okay, so you make a uh, attack with your with your. That is a three. Plus your attack bonus. Eight. Uh, you go, ah, let's do this. <laughs> Doom. Uh, you just hit the armor and he just kind of. Oh, let's not do this. He just looks, stick to the shadows. <laughs> is it edgy. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's very edgy, yeah. the red guy. Um, so after him, a few more of them are going to get to go first, unfortunately. No. Uh, that one is dead, so he doesn't get to go. Who's dead? Blue guy. Bluey. He's gone. Uh, Bluey's gone. The white one as a chicken. Um, could better not. Pecks the floor angrily. I think it would just, yeah, like he's kind of, because he gets the mental capability of a chicken, but he keeps his personality. So he will literally try and peck Juto. Bring it. Natural uh, 20. No, that's going to be. <laughs> Two. <laughs> critical <peck>. Nine. <laughs> critical like peck. Hits like your foot or something like that. Like, it's, mm, it's very angry like rude. chicken. Just like all my tail. And yeah, everything. it's just like trying to peck away at your uh, Don't thing. Don't even notice it. Man. Don't um, talk about tails. Mine got chopped off. <laughs> Mine's fine. Yeah, Cam, what's your dexterity? You. My horn's My got dex blunted. My dex is... You've got what? 16. My horn's got blunted. Blunted? Yeah. Oh, nightmare. They're is what? Sorry? 16. You go first. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Night nightmare in low, um, low rooms. 
Cam is going to cast Bane on Reddy. Red player. Red man. Red man. Bane. Yep. So I make a saving throw, I believe. Yes. Bane. It's wisdom. Charisma, sorry. Charisma. Okay. And the DC I'm looking to beat is? 18. Fail. Okay. So Ooh, that. Yeah, so minus D4. Yes. Okay. So that's that for him. And I'm going to use Bane. spiritual weapon to attack him. Okay. Give me that attack roll. No. Uh, 9 plus 10, 19. 19 actually does hit. What do you mean actually? Actually does hit. Good. 19 is quite high. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to like 33 from fucking Reynard or like yeah. 29 from Juto. Where's my D8? You can't oh, there help being fabulous. <laughs> we are fabulous. I know, right? Just, uh, <laughs> OP right clickers, that's what you guys are. 13. <laughs> 13. Radiant damage. Aimbots. You have to press one and so he watches the spiritual then. weapon mm. slides in between the armor like it's radiance burning through the metal. <laughs> Anything else? That was your action bonus action. action. Do you want to move? And, yeah. Oh, it's um, Bane's three creatures. So. I guess do, I do, Bane. Do can you get them in range? What's the range don't on Bane? The range is 30 feet. Don't do the chicken. Okay. So, yeah, you can get the. Can you not cast it? Oh, is it from yourself? Yeah. I don't think I can hit him. I could bane the chicken because it doesn't hurt him. Doesn't hurt him. No. So I'm going to bane him. So his pecking is even more. Natural 20. <laughs> the chicken is just like. Bark, 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 bark. Lays you're, an like egg. you're like, look at the chicken. You're like, oh, I can't do this to the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Lays an egg. You forget that it is actually a dragon assassin. <laughs> he uses legendary cuteness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> legendary cuteness. Just looks up at you. Um, All right, that's me. That's you done. Chicken. So the green dragonborn who's kind of been lurking in the corner. Eyes Balathis a little bit, can see that he's a little bit engaged um, and will attempt to cast a similar spell to something that they cast before. Oh no. Uh, a cloud of, oh no, she used that. Oh no, I took the spell slots off. Okay. Um, so she will target it pretty much here, like in this back corner. Mm -hmm. So it just clips White, Juto, Cam and Reynard. Counter spell. Are you gonna count spell again? Yep. What level would you like to count spell at? Fourth. Fourth level. Could you roll a d20 and add your charisma bonus, please? 16 plus, plus five, 21. Uh, five, yeah. So you watch as she begins summoning this kind of noxious looking cloud. Not again, you bitch. Around, and you, you yes. count the spell. Yeah. I'm useful. The chicken lives. Use those, yeah, that's, that's what counter spells are good for. Like just sitting there. Yeah. And so remember you can only do that once per, per turn though, because mm -hmm. it's a, a reaction to do. Yep. Um, so she kind of just is like, ah. So, she Again. turns around, uh, she- Change your tactics, I know what you're doing! Vanish! <laughs> Deal with him! And the black one is just like, don't worry, Kyrus. <laughs> and he just slams the short sword into your side. Me? Ah, oh, uh, yes. Yeah. God fucking damn it! Uh, it's my birthday! <laughs> uh, <laughs> come on, cast features. <laughs> there must be something in here. 22 to hit. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, hold on, I'm... I'm looking at what I can do, I'm looking please. at my... St and min max uh, over here? Right, okay, right. Uh, 20, 22 to hit? Uh, no, 14. You take. Don't worry, 16. I'm the hero. 20 points of damage. <laughs> okay. As this one okay. sticks into your back, um, as you kind of, you kind of feel yourself lurch a little bit, and then he's going to try and stab you two more times. Uh -oh. Two more times. Yeah. So that is only a 15 to hit, however. It still hits. Still hits. Okay, this one does not seem as bad. That's still 10 points of damage. I'm um, down what okay. I would be if I wasn't about to use my racial ability. Oh, this is Or rather my sorcerer ability. Shadow sorcerer thing. Okay, yeah. so how does this work? Uh, oh, fuck. So you go to zero. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Technology. <laughs> Come on, D&D Beyond. Please. 18. Instead of dropping zero, use strength of the grave, yes. So, what has this work? So, one sec, I will read it. Strength of the Grave. It gives you one, doesn't it? Um, when your damage reduces you to zero, you can make a charisma saving throw, DC five plus Ooh. the damage taken, which is 10. So, 15. On a success, you instead drop to one hit point. Okay, so make a, make a saving throw. Oh, and so if you get 15, like the orc and but it's point. constant, like, as long as he can make the saving throw, he always goes to one. Right. But in theory, if he constantly makes his saving throws, he'll never die. Really? No, after the saving throw succeeds, you can't use this feature again oh. until a long rest. Yeah. One for long rest. 16. 16, so you drop to one. Ah. Woo. Woo. He like looks at he like looks at you for a second, like cool. why aren't you dead? Well, let's see if you can do that again. And I have the strength of the grave! <laughs> with his third last attack, he's gonna hit you with like 23. That's only five points he's of damage. Got one I got one hit point. 
You got Shit! It. So DC 10 saving throw. Uh, wait, I get no, you saving throw. Saved. So it's a long rest, so you can only do it once per long rest. You can only rest. do it once per long rest. So am I just down? You just go to zero. You got yep. knocked down. One sec, one sec, one sec. Let me just see if I can like blink out of here or any sort of shit like that. One, uh, <laughs> I have abilities, let me use them. Uh, you already used your reaction. You gain the abilities. When, yeah, you'd have to do it as a reaction. As a bonus action, so I can't use that one yet. Nope. Uh, feats. Uh, Smith's Who's desperately next, uh, The annoying thing is, it is Smith next. Oh. <laughs> you gain the following it doesn't mean that if he doesn't get up, it's a death saving throw. Yeah. Okay, that's a real sad one. Um, you have to do a death it save. Looks so it's your turn. Looks as though, uh, yeah, that's that's. Uh, so it's down. your turn. So you make a death saving throw. So it's a flat d twenty roll. I'm really good at these. I'm really good at these. Please roll a one. That is a thirteen. So one successful death saving. Woo. I roll a natural one. Did you? Online. And we go back that's up to. That's not good. I roll a natural best. twenty. Juto. Mm. <laughs> so you watch as Balathis, this one in the black. He's got like a cloak and a robe. He's just like he's just been constantly shivering Balathis in the back, like die. Beautiful. Is this guy looking at Yuan Yang? Uh, he d you do see him kind of looking around for new targets at this point. Now that he, he's like, I've dealt with this one. How messed up does Red Guy look? Um, injured, for sure. Like you can see blood pouring out from beneath his armor, but he's kind of encased in full plate. So it's kind of hard to see like how badly wounded he is. He looks furious. furious. He's about to get furious, sir. 26 to nice. Red. Yep, hits. <laughs> Don't. Don't start. <laughs> you said cooler lines. <laughs> Look, I've been in the sun. <laughs> Rolling it out. Um, 14 plus 2. 16. 16. Yep. So you kind of slam the ground down in the mithril uh, blades piercing through the armor. <laughs> mm. It's a hit. Okay. It's really, it's a really. <laughs> it's a high number. It's yep. a great hit. Um, 10, 12. 12 points. Come on, red. <clears throat> Stab him through, like, you know, you cut part of the thigh between the armor plates. A flare. 16? No. no. 19. <clears throat> With a... It was upside down. Oh, yeah. It's a nine. Okay, yeah. In that case, yeah, that hits. Just. <laughs> you could, like it hits the metal, but it kind of dents inside yeah. inwards. Like six, argh. six points. Upside down nineteen would be sixty-one. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Birthday. I'm gonna take my roll there. Thirteen. Uh, that is not enough. However, this time you kind of swing around with a kick, trying to sweep the leg, and you just plant the the glaive kind of shaft in the way. Can I? Flex it off. I should have probably asked this before I punched the crap out of him. Um, can I ready an action that, like, if nope, anyone... you used your Can I try and reason him? with him? <laughs> <laughs> you used your can action I, to attack him. Can I do anything, though, like, if anyone moves towards... That would be a readied action. Shit, I should've... So you're, you're currently, you're, like, focusing so much on fighting him, like, Yan Yang's kind of in the distance, you're, you, she's not actively part of what you're thinking. Uh, Korak, at this point, is just like, ah, like, he stumbles forward. I should've been making saving throws for him, I forgot. We'll say he passed on the last turn. The light kind of fades from his eyes, he kind of looks around, he's just like, ah! Right, and he like takes around, he sees his Balathus, and he steps forward to the one in black, um, and he's gonna draw his blade, and this time you can see that as he draws- Wait, that's not Korak. Yeah, that's uh, Korak. Adric, sorry, Adric. 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 Yeah, yeah. It used to be called Korak, yeah. it's complicated. Oh, uh, it's but he pulls story. out the, the shard blade, and you can see now he kind of utters a prayer, and it begins glowing with a divine radiance. Um, his first attack is, Imagine say, Smith Korak. Just and killing him. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> that is actually uh, still that is, he's right here, why are we going to the city? I got him! Look, I got his head! <laughs> you literally rescued him as yeah. well, like, so I'm just gonna uh, You look so alike! <laughs> Twinsies! <laughs> so the first one hits, but the, the kind of divine yeah. radiance doesn't seem to have as much power as perhaps he was hoping it would. And then his second attack also hits for another 15 points. So you watch as this one, these two blows strike the, the Dragonborn in black quite badly, and you can see that part of his arm is now ruined, you know, rivulets of blood, you know, falling down. Um, the other one, like, he kind of caught in the shoulder, similar to where the bolt pierced, and he's looking quite badly, he drops into a defensive stance. Um, and that finishes Korax go. Reynard. Uh, I have to reload. <laughs> and that's, like, my entire action. <laughs> you got bonus um, action still? I'm going to bonus action and... Activate X all again, swish it right. Well, he never disabled actually because the, the, the spell magic only affected um, the one effect, so. Oh, okay. Um, boom, that's uh, 20, unnatural 20. 
And then a d6. Natural 20. A uh, floating magical sword that he can control. It looks like a kind of very bejeweled scimitar, yeah. and it kind of dances and floats and fights on its own in the air. Uh, uh, only question. five Dimaggios. To which one? Sorry, red? Uh, black, black guy. Oh, to black. Mm. Uh, so that's only... Yeah, that one seems to, again, like cause a deep kind to his leg. He's still standing, but he looks pretty injured at this point. Ha. That's all I got. I haven't got any cool lines like Furiosa. <laughs> okay. It was cool. <laughs> right. It was pretty cool. <laughs> you. Okay. It's the coolest thing you've ever said. The one in red. <laughs> True. Hmm. The one in red like looks around. He's just. He keeps, seems to be assessing the situation a little bit. Ah. He's like. <laughs> and he takes in a deep breath and he breathes <laughs> fire. Oh. Um, at Juto, you can make a dexterity saving throw. The chicken. We'll also make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, does that not go right? Oh, through the, the chicken possible? failed. Oh. What a shame. That's a real shame. Um, Twenty-five and I'm fire resistant. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He he kind of like expects you to leap out the way, but you watch as the flame catches the chicken, completely immolates it, and then just <laughs> this white dragonborn kind of emerges, this hulking, you know, big bicep creature, Ugh. and um, it seems furious. And you watch as its jaw opens, it snaps the metal that's been keeping its snout shut and just kind of goes Wah! And Takar just points at Juto, Grack, kill! Um, and it's just like Wah! I'd like to think she didn't jump out of the way, she just stood there. And just like Ugh, shit. So what you're saying is that roast chicken is not there now. <laughs> that roast chicken is not there, unfortunately. Disappointed. Go um, home. Go home. I kept it at bay for, you know, a little while. And then he will just kind of position himself um, Ready for the fight, basically. Uh, the white dragonborn, however, now on gets to go. Um, and it will attempt to wail on Juto. <laughs> so its battle axe comes crashing down. 19 to hit. How much? 19. Nope. No. What's your AC? Oh, you're right. Did you get a bonus to it? Uh, I got a, a bracer. That was it. It boosted it from that. Um, nuts. Hmm. Did you drop it with your bracer then? Uh, first, uh, it tries to bash you with its shield. That misses as well. You kind of leap to the side, and then it's going to attack you for another 19. Doesn't it hit you on all three attacks? Just kind of what? Yeah, as wow. you're like parrying and I'm blocking in my to the side. Land, bitch. How yeah. do you <laughs> okay, That one's cool. She doesn't have a Not much. <laughs> More than you. Yeah. Uh, More than yeah, this one. And it seems to be like it kind of realizes it's just like, Bleh. and you can see it getting much, much more angry. It was already raging. It wouldn't have had a bond since it does break this technique. Who's raging? What's raging? Nothing. My heart on it. <laughs> would it be, would it Cam be Buckland. raging if it hasn't taken any damage? Uh, <laughs> it can, as long as it takes damage so before so the end of its next turn. And technically, either. it did take damage because the chicken took damage. <laughs> okay. I've been watching a lot of Cam Buckland. <laughs> She's enjoying. Leave, leave, she's leave, enjoying leave, that. Over there. She's oh. really enjoying that. What happened? I'm gonna <laughs> hop up here. I said something very rude. Okay. That's not very rude. Come on, you can step it up. I'm gonna block. Oh. Oh. oh that's nice of you. So you kind of get in front of Yuan Yang. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna healing word. Oh, uh, El Dragonborn. <laughs> At what level? Uh, just. What level one? Just to get him up. Come on, just a little bit. I do right. some healing potions. Level three. So, so 3d4 plus wisdom. What is the healing oh. word? It's a magical word. But what's Six. Ham's healing word? You're okay. Great. Ten. probably. Yeah. Great. Wisdom. 16. Great. 16 health. Not bad. So you feel yourself like, Bleh. whoa, yes. <laughs> and the other one is, <laughs> dominate person. Whoa. Uh, yes, yeah, because we've got the rule of you can cast healing words as a bonus action. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of critical roles, so I'm still in their mindset. 60 feet. Wisdom saving throw, please. Against white, I'm assuming. White! Oh, yes! Oh, actually, hang on. Shitey whiteies. He does not seem that wise. This guy's had a horrible day. He got turned into a chicken, now he's being dominated. DC is? He's gonna have a complex. 18. 19. Oh has, my god! He has advantage against charm and fear effects. This will work one day. Maybe not oh, this fucking campaign. <laughs> what was it? Wisdom saving throw? Oh, it's not, yes. it's specific to. I thought he was a big dum dum. He is, but it seems that like. His kind of rage is so focused that you kind of reach out with the mind control, but you kind of see almost like layers of chains and teachings. Like this church of Tiamat has kind of raised him to be this killing machine, and it's kind of protected his mind a little bit. Or legitimate. Yeah. 
Wait, he sees chains as he tries to go into. Like, yeah, kind of like, like as he's bright. kind of like, yeah, it's like because <laughs> like the spell he has to like reach into his mind, and so he can almost see like these kind of draconic heads like blocking the path. And so he has resist. Cool. He has advantage. He has against advantage against charm and fear effects. Oh, can't block I mean, you don't know that, but yeah. No. Okay. Um, after Cam's go, the one in green. <laughs> Draconk. <laughs> Draconk. Is <laughs> actually the one in green is going to hold her action. Oh. Until. After the the black dragonborn goes, whose go is it is next, mm. and he will attempt to stab Balthus on the ground again. No, yeah, he sees you as a big he advantage. He has advantage. Who means, does? Uh, the one stabbing. You're, you're prone. So, Am I prone? You are apparently prone because you fell down, and not until it's not your oh. turn after his. Oh. Down. But you get up again. That is going to be a fifteen to hit. Uh, yep. Okay. That right, hits. So I've got a fourteen. I see. Yeah, nearly, nearly there. Does being so. knocked out count as a long rest? No. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice try. <laughs> uh, 17 points. And I'm back down again. <laughs> oh my God. I get knocked down. However, this time he now focuses the rest of his attacks on Korak, who is attacking him. He just kind of like cl- turns down, clubs you out, and then turns on I've Korak. I've been clubbed out. <laughs> uh, he hits Korak once, he hits Korak twice. For a total of. 17 points. So he then turns on Korak and like slashes and, and stabs at him a couple of times. Now, seeing that uh, Balathus has gone down, the one in green begins conjuring mm. some sort of spell. Oh my god, that's um, too many. Sensing that... Uh, oh, I see. It's fine, okay. it's fine. It's fine. 24 oh, Eyes of the dark. Is she going to do a noxious poop spray again? Yeah. She hits everybody but Yuan Yang and the guy in red. So she does hit white in this. Uh. You watch as a uh, a bubbling sphere of acid seems to launch out and then explodes outwards in a vitriolic sphere. Can't do it like, this time, guys. Uh, I'm fucking down again. Yeah. <laughs> Clumsy. Uh, everybody, can you make dexterity saving throws? Easy mode. Including me or not? Nope, not you. Right. Uh, I will make one for white, do however. He fails. Uh, you don't get advantage, it's just if you succeed. You 28. Don't... 18. Uh, 18, so you fail. 28, you what? pass. 19. 19, uh, you pass, but oh. you'll still take half damage. I um, take half as well. You take half because of evasion. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Evasion, man. Evasion, boys. Yeah. Hold ya. Poof! Evasion is super that. good. <laughs> All right, hang on. I got a lot of dice to roll. So you watch as this acid kind of coats you guys, and you can feel it still burning away. Um, Sorry if I called you an evasion boy, by the way. <laughs> um, I'm comfortable with my... Okay. Don't assume her uh, evasion gender. <laughs> Just put K on the end, it's neutral. Boik. Boik, yeah. So, you're right. welcome for so you take 21 points of acid damage, you'd each half that, so it becomes 10 points of acid damage. But you can feel that the acid is still bubbling away. Is um, it still there? It just stays. Uh, um, it, no, the acid is like on your armour and oh, skin and you can feel it sense. bubbling away. You took 10 acid damage, so that's already half. That's already half. Yeah. Okay. I guess it doesn't bubble on me though. You just, you just no. jump up to the ceiling. I don't know. Spider yeah. juice, yeah. spider like, juice. God, you kind of spidey sense style. Like <laughs> the globs of acid, you kind of twist as each one passes you as you spin Can through I the air. Reynard tries to do that, but it's just not as good. He's just Gets like. Caught his <laughs> Oh yeah, do I have my cape? I forgot about that. Um, uh, I guess now it would be pitted. Uh, no, you took it off because you're wearing desert clothes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Balathis, oh. it's now your go. Please make a death saving throw, please. Oh, but I'm it's really back to one. Good. Back to reset. It does reset. So that's a fail. So you've got one strike. Mm. Strike. Uh, and then it goes up to Juto. Guys, don't let Balathis die. <laughs> you need him. You need his skills. You need my I mean, special, uh, special set of skills. Got He's not as good as Bal. Bal, Bal, this is very high level. Saito is not very high level. Fine, I'm fine with that. Um, well, I'm glad you're fine with me dying. <laughs> you're a dragonborn, <laughs> scum. He's helping you. He was nice to Juto. He was, was really fine. nice. Dragonborn I was scum. really trying with Juto. <laughs> Clearly, my efforts were wasted on. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve to be slaves. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you were slaves. Wow. <laughs> Twenty-five. Insolent. To hit red guy. It's in fact, this is all churning in my in bad <laughs> head right now, thinking about me. You're going, dead, mate. Go and crow me after this. 18. 18. Total. So that one seems to, again, you strike through and you hear an audible sort of like, ah, ah. <coughs> but he's still alive. Mm, 
15. <laughs> Blocks it with his glaive this time, like... Flory! Ah, my queen. Natural 20. Double the dice. Nice. So you smack him in the mouth as he starts speaking. He's like, my queen will... <laughs> uh, seven. Okay. And then that's... No, so you double the dice and then you add the modifier. So four, nine. nine. Okay. <laughs> Again, this one though, you kind of hear like crack. You've probably broken his jaw, several teeth. <laughs> and then the next unarmed strike. 24. Hits. Nine. Oh my God, just enough. You literally like the second one, as he's kind of like luring, what do you want to do? Like uppercut him and like break his neck as you kind of like short you can upwards. You hear the spine snap as his body just topples backwards. Um, <laughs> yeah, as his body just slumps to the ground. Um, the, the one in white just is like. <sighs> what happens to one? Uh, the fear effect would go away now, yes. Um, but she is still semi trapped because her paths are kind of blocked. Yeah, at least count them But yeah. <laughs> uh, Korak is just like, ah. He reaches down. He's going to use his 15 points of lay on hands on Balathus. You get 15 HP back. Yeah. <laughs> Not today, my old friend. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I believe lay on hands is back in the game. Ah. Apply. I was just reading about fur bulbs. Holy shit, they're cool. <laughs> thinking of his, a true D&D &D player, yeah. thinking of his next character yeah, yeah. even when his other one is oh, still I love alive. It. So Suddenly cool. this fair ball. <laughs> As an action, so he has to use his action to get Balthus up, and okay. he does. Um, and then he will basically just try and stand in the way and kind of draw uh, this Black Dragonborn's attention. Nice. Uh, Reynard. <laughs> <laughs> Reen or getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shadows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Like, oh, oh, thank God I'm back inside the shadow. <laughs> Comforting shadows. Oh, it's so warm. All right, Axel is a 24 to hit. That's a 10 DiMaggio's on Black Guy. You can't say that. Uh, so that one, the bolt kind of goes through his stomach. Uh, uh, Axel. Oh, oh uh, Axel, shot. sorry, okay. Yeah, goes through the stomach. <laughs> um, and then I'll sharpshoot him again. Okay. Nice. Nope. First one misses. I'll do another one. Dodges to the side. Nice. Uh, 15 minus 5, 10. 10, no, misses. Oh, the sharpshoot is the more damage. Takes yeah, minus yeah, 10 yeah. to the attack, yeah. uh, minus 5 to the attack, or plus 10 damage. You so you kind of edge. like try and make these like dramatic shots, but he's like, <laughs> He's so engaged with Korak that he's trying to keep on his toes. Damn. Um, he's dead. All right. This time, the White Dragonborn recklessly attacks you, giving him advantage on the attack roll. But we'll give you advantage to hit him back. Uh, so that is going to be a 25 to hit you. Doesn't hit. I'm rolling anyway. 16 points of damage as his battle axe smashes into you. I would like to hellish rebuke. OK. Dex saving throw for him. Uh, that is a total of 16 on the Hellish Rebuke. Yeah. So uh, half damage. So half damage, so that's... Uh, 10, I think. That's 20. So. so if it's 20 total, it becomes 10. Let me just double check this hot fact. I took yeah, Tom's math. Right, um, so he kind of like, the flames lick out, but he manages to kind of like, almost bring his shield up to block some of them. Um, then he tries to bash you with said shield. That is still only going to be a 16 to hit you, though. Nope. So you kind of dodge to the side, and then he hits you with a battle axe again for another 22. Yep. That's going to be 14 more points of damage. Oh, my God. I see the battle axe is just kind of smashing into you. He's like... Juto's Sorry, add another four points. I forgot the bonus from his rage. Juto's Ooh. so, like... Focused. Angry that she doesn't really... Care. Yeah, yes. he's just yeah. focusing his attacks. You dare attack my homeland! My teeth rings! Cam Buckland. Cam Buckland is gonna go... <laughs> and then go... And spiritual guardians are gonna come out of me. Circle around me. Okay. 15 foot radius. I'm gonna make sure my allies are unaffected by this. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, does it say that you can do that, or does it say all creatures? You can designate any number of creatures um, all right. you can see to be unaffected by it. Perfect. My creatures are my allies. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, an affected creature's speed is halved in the area, Okay. and when the creature enters the area for the first time, it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay, so on his turn, on his turn, it's a wisdom saving throw. So you kind of go up and all these like spiritual guardians, what do they look like? 
Uh, little me cherub mees. Little cherub mees. The cherub mees again are out. But like... with a novelty <laughs> size dagger that's the same size as them. Okay. You're not, you're not hitting right the green guy with that. Uh, Cam's done hitting... his movement. Okay. Well, it's it's an area around Cam. What's the radius? Fifteen. Fifteen. So if it not if it doesn't Five, reach, it doesn't reach. Ten, fifteen. He's just out. He's twenty. Yeah. I'm going to bonus action. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five. I'm going to spiritual weapon. The Black Dragonborn. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Just sails through the air, um, <laughs> launching past you. Nice um, roll, man. <laughs> can you? The natural one on that uh, one dice. Can somebody move the green yeah. dragonborn to the other corner by those little sacks of flour? Oh. Yeah. Um, kind of just in front of her. So you watch as uh, she teleports. She kind of oh. like claps her hands and she disappears in a misty step. And then when she reappears, she targets Juto with a sickening ray of light. No. Juto. Juto. Counter spell. Okay. You gonna counter spell? Yeah. Oh. Huh? What level would you like to counter spell? Uh, hold on. It's me, the counter spell machine. Fourth level. Fourth level. You automatically dispel it. Yay. So whatever spell Ding she was dong. about to cast, you just snap your fingers. You it felt like it was going to be a ray of light yeah. or something, whatever you just... Ray of healing. Ray of healing. There's a ray Damn of it. purple. Well, you feel healing. like I stopped a person from healing you. No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm, I'm taking the piss out of Mark and saying... Right. Some sort of purple yeah. beam because he's like, was cancelled. Like, you literally just said what it was a second ago. It's a purple beam. <laughs> but I forgot. Um, and yeah, she just dispits there and she's just like, ah! It just seems to be <laughs> super frustrating. Really and pissed me. off at me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can still do that thing. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> um, well, I should probably stop drawing your attention, though. Yeah, the um, the one in black is going to use his cunning action to disengage. Mm. At the start of his turn, he makes a wisdom save throw. Thank you. That's a nine. Three d eight. Oh, Damn. let's see what this does. Seven, eight. Oh. Damn. 24 Whoa. points. Is it plus wisdom? <laughs> you watch. Is, is, what happens is he looks is like he's a kind of, spirit guardian. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He kind of flashes up like an attack, like almost kind of like throws like some sort of dust at Korak. And then he swipes at your face. Pocket like, sand. Get away. He kind of pockets <laughs> sands Korak, swipes at your face, causing you to like kind of take your eyes off him for a moment. And he uses that to try and slip around. And it looks like he's about to like almost run for Yuan Yang. Almost like you think like maybe to take a hostage, but as he starts going, the cherubs just descend on him like a pile of bees. <laughs> <And they're> just like <laughs> <laughs> violently stabbing. And then he just turns into like a punctuated corpse. Oh. And just is like, oh, Yes. Immediately does. As a fan of small things killing larger things, <laughs> it's just like he's just like, good job. <laughs> they all do little thumbs up. Good <laughs> job. All of them. <laughs> we got him. You can see that the one in green, this woman dragonborn, is just like she's looking around and she's now beginning to edge her way towards the corridors leading out. Um, the white dragonborn, however, shows no sign of stopping at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Juto. He's got disadvantage. Oh no, I've got advantage on throws against him, right? You have advantage to attack him. Yes. Rocket. So how many are still standing? Who died then? Uh, the one in green black. and white. So just one. green and white. Left. Did you take the black one out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Twenty. Uh, yeah. Wait, where am I? Hits You're three. There on the floor. Oh shit. Uh, still haven't stood up. Ten, how do I count a spell? Can I count a spell when I'm prone? Yeah. Yeah, you can count a spell when you're prone. You just did. <laughs> yeah. Eleven points of damage. Yeah. Take Is it. Bane on him. Uh, no, that was the red guy. I thought you got it on the chicken there. Oh, that's true. No, he's no, saved. No, he natural 20, did yeah. he? Uh, can I stunning strike that as well, please? Yes, you can. In fact, that's stunning. It's slightly less because it was stunning. Is oh, nice raging. Flash cards. That is going to be a 21. Truck. Uh, uh, smash! Smash. Uh, Go on, one more. Uh, smash! Smash. <laughs> same, same word. Scary. What's Crush! Plus nine. <laughs> 12 plus 9 is 21. 21? Yeah, that hits. Whoa. Eight, uh, that 8 on the D8 is eight. not in the box. Fifth. Shut up, Tom. That's okay. a box. Let her add. Uh, oh, crap. What is math? Well, that's 9. 7, 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16, yeah. so he, he does only take half because he's raging. Um, yep. Poof. You're uh, kind of smacking him around, and he's just like. Bah, bah. Uh, uh, ten stuns. Nice. Thank you. Finally, so you if you're willing to burn through key points, you can just yeah. keep stunning. Oh, loads, mate. I think we're gonna need a nice long rest after this fight. Yeah. 
Yes, we will. It says I have advantage again. Can I get, add like another dice? No. Three. <laughs> Just really fudge the system. Ooh, uh, oh, by the way, I'm flurrying. Um, so that is. Would you spend the key points? I don't mind. 18, I'll have a crunchy. Yeah. Hits. Mm. Ooh, Ten. The flurry joke. I got it. Ten points. Technically, he's still raging, so. Twenty. Oh, 20. yeah. Double the dice. Twenty. We, Buddy. we should have an alert for that. Double the score. Double the, 20. Whatever 20. you roll on the dice, you double. 7, 14. 14 plus your modifier. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19, half, so... Gosh, damn. 11. We'll call it. 11? Sorry, half of 9. nine. Half of 19. She uh, half of 9. 20 would be 10. Oh, yeah. So you round it It'll uh, be round 9. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Shut up, guys. Sorry, it's just an idiot. <laughs> um, he is, however, he will auto fail strength and dex saving throws. Yep, because he's stunned. And he can't take actions or reactions. Whoa, that's, that's pretty, pretty and tasty. You, you all have advantage against him. That's a tasty meatball. Korak will turn around. He's just like, use your spells to deal with take that one. This spellcaster's mine. And he just kind of strides up to this very scared looking dragon ball. Oh dear. My prince, Adric, you must understand. You are you're against this journey. Just like raises these, just like. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> Cut him in half. Both hits, and you watch as the sword just glows with divine smite that he's going to rain down. Oh, it's so beautiful. What a majestic beast. Is the weapon got a name? Yeah, dawn, uh, dawn blade. The dawn blade. It's made out of cool. the Pretty shards rare. that fell from the sky. Oh, that's so picturesque. <laughs> you watch as he basically like slams the thing down into her, like basically cleaving off one arm and then like gouging a deep lash along oh, the side. Oh. She looks like she's barely standing. Um, and then. It's <laughs> a bit much. Isn't it? Oh, it's it is a bit good. much. Um, oh, it's a bit much. over the floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he can't really do anything, any extra damage, so he's just sort of like looming over so her. So she's just, like, still not dead. Just barely alive. <laughs> He's just like looming over her. So the only um, massive threat right now is still this guy, right? Yes, very much and so. And me. But he's, uh, yeah, and the teeth. The ongoing threat. <laughs> Two <Reynard. Two> years. <laughs> this is uh, why we repressed you. <laughs> is uh, is the circle of spinning cams. tiny little cam imps? Yeah, Are still they going. Around? Yep. Yeah. What would it take to? Korak would probably actually call out. He would be like, "If you can't leave this one alive." Oh, fine. Fair enough. In that case, I'll hunters mark this boik. Do I get anything from high uh, high ground? Nope. Cool. Same um, divinity, son. The same, the same Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Oh, is he stunned? Yeah, I yes. stunned him. I stunned <laughs> that mother. Shit, yeah. I'm gonna um, also fail strength and dexterity. Fifteen, fifteen. Wow! Plus. Literally rolled the same number. Twenty-eight minus five, twenty-three. Is please. a Please. Two D nice. six plus my D eight. Boom. Oh, good. That's a bad roll. Um, three, seven. Uh, plus six, 13 on that one. No, plus 10, 23. 23, so half. Oh, your to hit and your damage 11. rolls were the same. Right, that so you down. watch as like the bolt. <laughs> he's just kind of like stood there like. Why are they being laughed? He's raging. Oh, yeah. Um, Sharpshooter. Is he raging? Natural 20. Oh, <laughs> shit. Double the dice. Uh, Hunter's Mark as well. Mm -hmm. With a natural 20 and a Sharpshooter, you minus five on it. Does it still crit? Yes. 30. Funny is a natural 20. The yeah. more you know. <laughs> the more you know. You can't miss with sharpshooters with all natural 20s. 30 total, oh, yeah. You're disgusting. The more you know. Nat, you want this one like... Plus 10. <laughs> really? It's You're right, stun. mate. <laughs> He's raging. But the stun lasts until the end of... My go. Player. Your next go, and you stunned him just now. Yep. Yes. Stunned until the end so of my fucked. next turn. He's so fucked. Uh, technically, it's his go. He's stunned. He can't take any actions. Nope. The 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 green-looking woman is just like <sighs> she looks to teleport away. Or well, she's going to cast Misty Step. Cow spell. Okay. <laughs> what, what spell slot are you using? Wait, she's only Misty Stepping. You, okay. Yeah. Say... Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can I use third I instead? Clap. Yes. Third. I'm going to yeah. use third. Yeah, Fourth is stupid. Clap. Yeah, she, she, she can. Arm. She's got an arm off. Oh, that's true. So she's just, she's like, argh, she like tries to channel the spell. What's happening? Oh, it's not working again. <laughs> she looks over. It's action. You're still, still rolling down. around on the floor, like. <laughs> Ooh. I'm on the floor and I can still cast spells. 
She looks over at you. Wow. Well, it's a shame that you've just wasted it on counterspelling that, isn't it? No, it is. I made a mistake. <laughs> She's got a vitriolic sphere on top of you. I so, immediately oh, mean doubt myself. Sorry, Cam and Reynard, you should have taken some extra damage earlier, which oh, I yeah, won't do now. Oh. So, um, dexterity saving throws from Balathis. Uh, Cam. Um, oh, he succeeded uh, the um, Reynard. I did and... succeed the accident. Yeah. Yeah. I failed it. I was the only one that failed. That's right. You took half. Yeah, that's right. But you should have taken it. But it's fine. Um, Funny this time. Uh, can you roll one for Yan Yang, actually, as well? Uh, oh, you can say her name, right? Yan, Yuan Yang. You I'll roll one for Corey. Uh, what am I rolling? Dexterity saving throw, yeah. please. How do you feel about... Natural 20. Oh. Okay, what? so she oh. leaves the side. She's going to take I some sit over there. <laughs> yeah, it's nice over there. <laughs> I got 11. <laughs> so 11? Uh, 20. 20? Oh, was I in this as well? Yeah. She, uh, Even when she doesn't catch his uh, dexterity save, 17. 17. So you and Balathis are taking full damage. I'll You're taking half. half. Yuan Yuan's taking half as well. I take half too. Because of evasion? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's true. But you still fail it. Dumbest feature in the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have as a monk. <laughs> uh, you can't hit You know what I have? A fucking yawning portal for potions. Because like that's literally all I had. Like the, the, one of the few, the only contributions I've made in this fight is counterspelling and other people filling me up with heals. <laughs> Twenty six acid damage. Yeah, well, yeah, that knocks me right down. So uh, that's interesting. Thirteen. Thirteen, 13. acid damage to you two. Yeah, uh, twenty. Um. Twenty six, you say. <laughs> Whoa. How much health do you have? Does that take me below? What? What's the whole thing about like it's if like you go? To, you have to go to negative your maximum hit. Oh yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, we'll like, be it's right. for, like reserved for things like. You fell off a four thousand foot tall tower oh, and dead, things dead, like that. You're really dead. dead. Yeah. yeah. Um, but she kind of like like she you see that she gets like some desperate attempt at satisfaction yeah. as she knows that she's probably dead, yeah. but she's at least made you suffer. <laughs> it's over, <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> I hate you. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. And yeah, she's just already. stuck there. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. I can alter myself. Balthus, you'll go. Would you like to roll a death saving throw? <laughs> I would love to. I'm really good at these. It's a one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's a natural one. Has anybody got any heals left? That's a two death strikes there. Boom, for you, boom. Friend. Two oh failures. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm the party's tank. Uh, oh god. Due to, she would have taken 13, Yuan Yang, by the way. She looks pretty injured by that. Oh. Bitch! <laughs> she looks like like you can see her arms are all burnt. She's like trying to cover her face, but you can see like her arms are mm. melting away. Um, at the start of her turn, she would actually take some more as well, which we'll do at the end of the oh, round. Oh, I'm furious! I'm furious. Take five. She, she takes really ten is, uh, more, furious, which is enough yeah. to stop her to zero. <laughs> she's not super strong. So she's currently what? you watch as like this acid burns away and she just kind of collapses to the ground. Oh my god! Um, so she's at zero. Don't worry, she's probably got a class. That's at the start that. of her turn. She doesn't... No, her. Oh, she does. <laughs> uh, avenge fallen comrades. Yeah, avenge fallen teeth. Well, it's Juto's go. So Yang Yang is... is you watch her, like, out of the corner of your eye, you watch her kind of, like, on the ground. Me. From this, like, bubbling acid. <laughs> Deep vein. <laughs> You're unconscious. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, he's dreadful. Death row. <laughs> um, I would like to scream. Oh. <laughs> um... Would you like to be pretty run away? Turn around. Juto does not run away. Oh, so you're not mm -hmm. going to go she rescue your friend? Step of the wind. Oh, you're going to disengage. disengage. So key point, step in Kate. Yep. And then I'm going to use my fancy little ring. I think it's going that way. You're going to use them for cure wounds on her. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> I would like to use mass my cure book. wounds. <laughs> oh. Okay. Centered here. So oh. Will hit. Oh. It's everybody, basically. It, everybody. Apart, oh. from, apart from the nice people. So that is 4d8 plus 5. Whoa. So that's going to be 9, 30 HP to everybody. Oh, yeah. So you hold up the ring. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Wow. However, that is gone now. It would need to be recast into the ring. So. Oh, man. Yep. That was my action. So you go, that's the action. I guess I bonus action step the wind, did, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. So you're out. That's Eflings you. roll. You can, move back. you can move back into combat. No. Okay. I'm literally going like, to like hold precious hold charge. Her. She's like, like oh, oh, no. Her eyes like, will go up. Oh, like, <laughs> don't you do that to me. And her eyes like, yeah. and if Can I get on on that hug? If it, no. If any bitch comes <laughs> for her, like, I'm shot. taking that hit. It looks like it wasn't anybody's coming before I just like I don't care. I'm um, whatever okay. if anything comes from her, You're I'm just like, gonna absorb I'm it. Shielding. Okay. Hey, how's it <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Korak just looks like, you miserable coward. Oh, um, and it looks like he's enough. basically just going to, like, he hits her, but he's kind of hitting Korak her with a flat blade. Yeah, Korak's go after Juto. Korak's not here. He is. Oh, Edric. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look, I called him Korak for nearly two years, yeah. dude. Back off. That was the big reveal. He confuses uh, me. I've just tank. come back from the dead again. <laughs> here. Third time this combat. Are we technically ballot, ballot, Okay, with that, that, you watch Korak, with the flat of his blade, he knocks the green dragonborn woman out and she just kind of slumps. Oh. Still alive, but unconscious. I'm going to take her limbs after this. Mm. Um, okay. Reynard. You should cut a tail off. Um, Reynard. Uh, he's got Hunter's Mark on him. I'm uh -huh. going to do a sharpshooter. Sharp so he, he is now out of he's the stun, however. He's just like... Sharp like, shooter. His eyes snap to you, and it looks uh, like he's probably going to come after 24 you. 24 minus 5. 19. 19. Ooh, he is actually going to use his reaction to parry that. Oh no, it's a melee attack. He can't parry. Yeah. Carry uh, on. Uh, 1, 4, 7, plus 6, 13, 23 DiMaggio's. Oh no, I guess he halves. Uh, so he looks really injured. Like you can see that he's kind of like staggering. He's got like six bolts in him at this point. M multiple cut he's wounds from Juto. Yeah. He's like, um, crush. Fit burning. Uh, bad so news. I have to reload. <laughs> you can Axel. Uh, five, What's the 10, range? 15, 20, 25, 30. Just out. He can't go that far. Um, By the way, that healing wounds all of you. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Did you need a little bit of healing? Did you? Oh yeah, I've added that on. Yeah, that's 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 basking in it. Basking. Oh, <laughs> like your little. Well, lizard. he yeah. will charge you and try and do as much damage as he can before he dies. Like Fine. My health. Recklessly attacking. <laughs> Recklessly attack. Twenty nine. Uh, sorry, nineteen. That hits. You take ooh eighteen points as this battle axe smashes into your side. Natural twenty as his shield oh, uh, hits into your face. Wow. Oof. That's a Can you make one. a strength saving throw for me, Ow. As well, please? Ow. As you take another fourteen points. Uh, strength. That's a twenty-two. Okay, so you manage to stay on your feet, but the shield like slams in you here. Your nose break. Oh. Like, buds, blood spurts out. That was another fourteen points if you didn't catch that. And then his third attack. Uh, is nearly a natural 20, 19. As you take do, 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 15 more points of damage. Oh He's just like, you shoot man, die. Oh, soup man? Shoot, shoot man. Oh. Shoot man. Um, I do like soup. <laughs> soup man, die. How did you know? Come on, Inside. Come, come my cherubs. I'm just going to stand about there, which is in range, yeah. with my little cherub. So they're still circling around you. I'm going to send in a spiritual weapon around the back. Woo! Uh, 21. 21, yeah, hits. You have advantage against him, actually, if you want to see if you get a crit. Yeah, nope. you should have gotten an no, he attacked mm. before he, he was uh, 11 points of Radio. No, no, but he's Dollar. recklessly Oh, that's true, oh. every turn, yeah. Anyway, so 11. 11 points of Radio. 11. And oh um, he's in. So with so that, like this boy seems to strike him in the back, and a stiff wind will knock him over at this point. It's, mm. it's, like, my cherubs are ready to. Oh, yeah, they're, they're they're like they're ready. I also yeah, completely wind. forgot my reaction to. Shoot I, I, he's not large. Uh, also, oh, he's not large. I also don't have the miniature pulse. is big, but he's not. Knocks in center forehead. Uh, Balathis, hello. At the start of your turn, the acid is technically still bubbling away on you. But this is only three, four. That's literally out of four d four. I rolled four. Wow! Yeah. You take six points of acid damage. Ooh! But you kind of managed to like get the wait, rest wait, of wait, 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 wait. I'm am I poison resistant? Hold on. Yeah. Acid. acid yeah. I think I'm acid resistant. Because so you... your specialty is acid. Isn't Shit! Acid I should have I should have had resistance earlier. Should have added acid. half to that. I mean, I think you were low enough. There damage resistance. Not... Damage copper. What's the copper one? I don't know. And... It's acid. Wait, hold on. Whatever your breath weapon is, I think. Yeah, it just, it, it's not very good at telling you that, is it? Uh, let's presume it's, fuck it, it doesn't matter. I'll presume that I'm not. It so should be fine. It's six points of damage, yeah. it doesn't matter. I think you cool. tried to resist it last time. But Copper it was is acid. Type. Was it a poison? Copper is acid, according to the hive mind. Yeah, apparently yeah. it is acid. It is acid, so, so if you're copper, three. yeah. So you would take three. All right, that's fine. Okay. Right, whose goes now? Am I going? It is your go? Yes, you I'm like going to hit him with a fireball. <laughs> so you just stand up. Finally. Yeah. Okay. 10, plus 10 to hit. Uh, that's a 13. 23 hits. You 23. have advantage if you want to see if you crit. Yeah, sure, why not? Nope. Nope. Uh, and so that's 3d10. 3d10 of fire damage. Mm -hmm. 
adds d8, which he is not resistant to because raging. Yeah, you have resistance yep. to the damage type associated with your draconic you got ancestry. If not, I'll just roll and copper back. is acid. Right, so that's nine. Yep. Nine. Uh, 18. 18. Did you just like burn a hole through his chest or yeah. his chest? <laughs> <so, like, laughs> I got really fast. This, well, well. this hard hole just get burnt through his arm. <laughs> and it's like. And then he just collapses. Guess he wasn't a fire dragon resistant. He <laughs> <laughs> stumbles up like burnt marks, like still all Oh, up. guys, that was hard. I am not a fighter. <laughs> uh, so at this point, you guys are out of initiative. Yuan yeah. is uh, Yuan Yang is just kind of cl like clutching onto Juto, like <laughs> like breathing heavy. Um, you've kind of holding wiped her. off the acid. Holding her tight. Any remaining acid that was on her, you've kind of wiped it away. That that wasn't right, right? This isn't this isn't right. They're not meant to come here, they right? They shouldn't have been right. able to get in. Right, right. This place was a secret. I knew allowing Dragonborns in here was a mistake. You mean Adric? Uh, or do you mean him? Adric looks at Juto. He's like, I understand that you are upset, Miss Jing, but you must understand, Rosaris is an incredible kingdom of much power. It is not thoroughly surprising that they are able to that they were able to track people here. I do not believe that this is... Everyone here is on the same side. Mm. We tried to keep this safe. And why is it now? Why is it now that they choose to attack? Uh, the what? Red One did mention something of being aware that this... your village was around, but they had no reason to attack it before now. It was my presence that brought them here. On the bright side, we've now eradicated four or five members of the Hand of Tiamat without suffering any losses. I you went down three times. Wind. I did, uh, and for that I am grateful. At, at that, the uh, you do hear um, kind of rushing coming from like the other parts of the village. Uh, Lady Amarillith, uh, Saito, kind of rushing up. They're like, "Is is everyone okay?" <laughs> now they're here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they arrived just just as soon as they were able to get here. Uh, uh, Lady Lady Amarith is just like, "Is anybody injured? Does anybody require healing?" No, I'm actually good. Uh, me, actually, I'm down to 23. <laughs> she rushes over. Um, Does it not heal you as well? Oh, yeah. yeah it would have healed you for 30, so. Well, so so they tell, the, the town of Tiamat teleported in, right? You, did, you, uh, you can make an arcana check for me. You are a sorcerer. Yeah. I think you were in the room when it happened yeah. as well. I'm not used to uh, the room myself. In the room <laughs> where where it happened. In the room I would be arcana, but I, yeah, maybe. Because like, my arcana isn't actually any good at all. Well, make an arcana check and then right. make an insight check for me. Because there's elements 12. Of and then my insight would be fuck. Oh no, Christ! You, you have a new dice. You would definitely <laughs> recommend. You would definitely recognize it as being teleportation magic. Yeah. Um, so we think they teleported. You in you are almost certain they teleported in right. the exact spell they used and the power required to do it. You're not sure about. Mm. Definitely powerful magic. Likely. Do, do we think it's the green one who did the the spell? No. You suspect that she didn't seem powerful enough. You suspect it was likely Visca, the High Priestess, who you know to be probably the most powerful spellcaster in Brasaurus. Is she She's, dead? No, Visca is very much alive. She Visca is, sent them, she didn't come with them. Yes, right? it seems okay, to be. Right, you, right, would, right. you would suspect. What you know of the Hand of Tiamat is they yeah. serve the church. They serve right, right, right. her, yeah. not Korak. Right. And she is, she, she is a High Priestess of Tiamat. She channels Tiamat's divine will. Now, I kind of don't know enough about the NPCs around us, that's but fine. do we have anyone around us that's capable of doing something like... What I'm thinking here is we interrogate the remaining Dragonborn, try and find out where and how they got here, and perhaps reverse what they did, backtrace it, so to speak, um, and get back into Lady Amarith is like, unfortunately, ma teleportation magic is... I'm, I'm specialised in healing. I can plane shift us, but I'm not... That won't be of any use, really. We're not sneaking using plane shifting. Unfortunately, you have to have um, rods attuned to the plane that you're travelling to. Right. Those rods dictate where you arrive in the material plane. I could mm -hmm. teleport us back to Talus Val, but I couldn't take us into Brasaris, unfortunately. Right, okay. Um, so we're still doing the car and boat idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Juto's still furious at this point. She's like, uh, she's talking with Saito and is like, is anyone else hurt? Is Saito kind of like awkwardly is like, we managed to save as many as we could, but some of them were... What they, do you mean, save? Well, some of them got taken. They had um, stones, magic rocks. They crushed them, and people that they were holding transported away with them. Who? Who did we lose? Several tieflings, more of the sort of capable fighters, basically. Anybody that looked like they could hold a blade or a bow, they snatched them up. They didn't take any of the elderly or the children. We need to move. We need to move now. Uh, mm. Should weaponize the children. Yuan Yang is just, uh, looks up. <laughs> Yuan Yang just is like, 
Tutor, I know you're upset, but you need to think rationally about this. They, they just hit us with something none of us could have predicted. They are clearly far stronger than we've ever given them credit for. I'm not saying we don't rescue them, but we need to think this through. Rescuing them was, you know, is not out of the question. I, we need to move. This was meant to be a safe haven. I set it up so. And they've not attacked us until now. They obviously don't see us as much of a threat. Otherwise, they would have attacked us years ago, or months ago, rather. The fact that, is that they're very clearly they're after your dragonborn friend, Adric, here, and likely the rest of you, they probably see you as a threat. Then let's take our threat out of here, at least, and get on the road. Uh, Amarith heals you guys, so you and Juto, anybody who's healing, she'll basically spend enough healing slots to heal you up to full. Yeah. Adric, yes, how are your uh, interrogation skills? I am not an interrogator. I believe Mr. Balathus is more his field. Um, of course, if you have any magics that can assist you in such matters, I recommend it. Magics. I could interrogate her. I think that's fine, actually, Juto. Uh, you're more of a uh, diplomat, so maybe that's not good. She almost killed Yuan Yang. Yeah, and you might just kill her before we get good information, so probably best you just make sure she's okay. Yeah? I don't know how you want to do this, but basically I could use like suggestion or something. You can get, well, we'll roll play out. We'll roll maybe out. dominate yeah. person you, it always fails. <laughs> <laughs> if I had any less respect for you, I would ignore you and kill her. But... But I am listening to you. Good, because I'm very wise. I will take myself elsewhere, but... If she escapes, I will kill her. There's so many of us, and he's a sharpshooter. Yeah, she's not, she's going not getting anywhere. away. He keeps counterspelling her. Adric is like, uh, turns to Saito. Mr. Saito, do you possess bonds? We need to make sure that she cannot uh, use her hands uh, for fear of spell hand. casting. Hand. Hand. One hand. Yeah, she can still spell cast, though. <laughs> Just take your friend away and make sure she's okay. And then we'll get on the road. Amareth is like, come on, come, come with me, and she kind of like takes you both and is like draconic strength and. I think you can see that I'm like, making a real effort to calm down. Like yeah. old Juto would have murdered yeah. this. And, and Amareth is just like, it's all right. Yeah. Leave them to it. We'll, and I'm just like, I'm just like holding Yuan Yang. Like she'll take justice. What she's done, she'll take justice, and like she's kind of urging you away quietly, leaving basically um, Saito, Cam, Reynard, and Balathis um, and Adric in the room. Um. Adric basically very tightly secures her arm to her body and like binds her hand up so that she can't move her hand. It's like this. Um, is this the best place for it? Is this the quietest place? For now, I suspect, I do not believe it. The rest of it is where people live. At least this is, is some sort of a war, war room. My worry is she can teleport people directly to this room. It could happen again. Possibly. You just need to be ready that for is it. if she's aware that they have failed. We'll stay here while uh, old No-Tail's here, does his work. I like that. No-Tail. No-Tail. Mm. Could be a nickname. Right. Well, Mr. Balathus, how do you wish to proceed? Well, let's get to work, I suppose. Um, let's take her to Andrew, a kind of like, poof, like secluded her room away from children. Yeah, and, you can and take her to like one of the um, one of the ports where like they look out onto the valleyway, which is like a secluded little kind of like oh, sentry room almost. The like a little bit of light kind of peeking in. It is starting mm -hmm. to get colder as evening's coming around. Okay. Um, so just tie her to a chair. Yeah, ties her to a chair. Um, put a bag over her head. Uh, at this point, Adric is like, I will step out of the room. This is not. I understand what needs to be done here, but I wish no part of it myself as a paladin. This is That's fine. I'm not terrible. going to hurt her. He just puts an arm on his shoulder. I trust that you will get what we need. I will act nobly and then and, and get what we need. He nods and I'm gonna leaves. stay in the room. Okay. 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 Alright, so first thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna sit down in front of her, pull the hood off, <sighs> put my hand on her shoulder, and say, We're friends, aren't we? Okay. And use friends on her. Okay. Uh, so basically, it's just advantage on charisma checks. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any sort of resistance, is there? You just. I don't know. What I can do as well is I can use um, a sorcerer point to extend the duration a bit. Okay. Like. Um, so yeah, you can do that. Nice. So I haven't used any of those yet. Yeah. So I'll I'll use a couple just to give me a few minutes. Okay. Talking. So to you it. enhance the friend's spell, yeah. and she kind of like her eyes. I mean, I'll just check that it's not saving through, but we'll just. Basically, for the duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks. That it only lasts one, one round. Of your choice. That, well, duration one minute. So. Oh, one minute. But then I've used the extend um, uh. to, uh, yeah, basically give it an extended duration. Okay, perfect. So she kind of was just like, I wouldn't say friends, but I respect your work. Okay. You won't get anything out of me, I'm afraid. Oh, now, now. 
We don't need anything in particular. Just some actually, details. Actually, can actually resist it. How? But it does, at the end of the spell, it recognises a hostile attempt. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that doesn't really matter at this point. I want to get back into Prasaris. I, I've seen the error of my ways, and I feel like returning to Prasaris and begging forgiveness from the chromatic uh, dragons is perhaps my way to redemption. If I wanted to get in, what would be my most direct route to uh, lay myself before the chromatic? So you're going to make a deception check? Yeah. Sure. With advantage? Can I also be like... No, I thought you were on our side. So you're trying to... No assist. tail? You can't really give him more than advantage, but you can give me a deception check just to see if it helps. Yeah. I kind of believe it. Okay, so that's <laughs> 17... Still, still make a check? Plus... Uh, you said deception, yeah? Yes. 27. 29. That's without advantage as well, actually. She like looks at you. You don't get the sense that she's just immediately believed you, but mm. she's kind of just like... Coming around <laughs> to the idea. Well, it's a good job that you do. You know that hanging around with that old foolish prince won't do you much good. If I'm honest with you, Korak. for the longest time I thought he was Korak. Yes. I thought I was helping Korak in disguise. <laughs> and if I eyes you suspiciously. <laughs> All right, that's 28. She kind of looks and she's just like, you know as well as I do about this, the city is incredibly well guarded. You certainly won't make it in through the red or gold gate. Red or gold gates are a no-go. The right. dragons are on patrol. I'm writing on my arm. <laughs> okay. Korak isn't so likely as... He is cautious. Many of the metallics and chromatics are beginning to show their distaste in him. You are wise if you wish to join us. We could use a man of your talents. Where would I be able to lay myself before Korak to beg his forgiveness? Well, first you'll need to prove to me that that's really what your intent is. Deal with this one. He's one of Adric's friends. Okay. Um, no. I'm going to walk up to him. No! Balance this! I, no. want, I want to whisper. Uh -huh. Trust me. <laughs> I can Trust me. I'm going to whisper back. I can feign death. <laughs> you can feign death. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use Minor Illusion okay. to fake a, a dagger. So you pull a blade no. out. Yeah. No chance! Just ra <laughs> like, sort of ram it like this. Okay, and then you... I'm going to faint So it. you're going to yeah. give me a sleight of hand check, both of you. Right, okay. Uh, just because like you're, you're, you're hiding your gesture of the feign death spell, yeah. and you're making it look good. Oh, it's a natural one. Natural one. Oh! <laughs> we both rolled natural ones. You, you're like, head two! <laughs> Battle of this! We're terrible at this <laughs> one! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. She just, you watch as this kind of like very deadpan expression. Uh, you still cast Faint Death, Trot, you still fall to I the ground. Fall. You are unconscious. Oh. And I sort of turn around and go, <laughs> is that all right? Kick him a bit. <laughs> if your hope was to provide an entertaining performance, oh. I'm impressed that the creature has actually casted a spell upon itself, but at least it allows us to talk privately. <laughs> Okay. You yes. can't. Don't try and fool me, Balathus. Oh. I know that you have respect for Adric, <laughs> but this loyalty is misplaced. He is weak. He will soon be killed, if not by our hand, then by Viscus. You know how powerful she is. You've seen it firsthand. And you'd lay your life down for this Viscus? You'd lay your life down for Korak? Well, how about something else? A deal? It's just you and I here after all now. It is. You help me, and I'll help you. What would you want from me? There are many chromatics who have become displeased with Korak. Visca is aware of this. She would defend him, she would fight for him, but if she was pressured to choose between her life or his, or the church's life and hers, she would choose her own. Mm. I can get you into the city. I'll take whoever you need. Spare my life. Promise me that you will spare my life and I will give you what you request. We can take down Korak. You can instill Adric as a puppet king, and then you and Viscar could pull his strings from behind in the shadows. What makes you think that Adric would be okay with the Church of Tiamat remaining in place? Tiamat has long been a part of Brasaris. Whilst of recent years, we have perhaps embraced her darker elements. There are still elements of Tiamat that we should all accept. After all, should we not all pursue ambition? Should we not all seek to be the strongest of ourselves that we can be? Hmm. There's just different paths to strength. Indeed. The Church of Tiamat will always have a place in Brasaris. Can but I... I would understand if Adric wished to perhaps lessen its influence. Can I consult Adric about this before I give you an answer? That depends. He has attributed himself to Bahamut. What do you feel his response would be? Why don't we keep this between you and I? It's dangerous, but... It is, but okay. I will give you what you need. Okay. I have your word. 
as, good, as good as that is. He lo she looks at you and is like, I am aware of your history. I know about what happened to your family. Swear to me on their souls that you will assist me. Oh. I know that you are not a man that I can just trust blindly, but perhaps we could have a professional acceptance. I will do whatever it takes to survive to ensure that my life and the life of the church will continue. You can respect that, can't you? I can, I can. Uh... I can get you past the guards. I can even get you into the palace. I have information on where Korak will even be in a few days. Time. Oh, it's all so good. I'm just looking at my, 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 uh, my ideals and stuff. And I'm like, would I if we go along with this? They're all so conflicting. <laughs> uh, will someday get revenge on the corrupt hierarchy who branded me a heretic? I judge others harshly and myself even more severe. I judge others harshly. It's kind of a, a tough one to, <laughs> to make peace with. <laughs> it's like, oh. Kill me and you won't get this information. <sighs> Uh, I suggest you tell me that information right now. DC 18. <laughs> oh no. Her eyes glaze over. Korak is arranging a battle in the Colosseum. It will not be as heavily guarded as the Imperial Palace. That's why he sent many others to regress, take some of the tiefling slaves and metallics. Oh. Many of the nobles are very unhappy with him. He's taken those that oppose his way of life. But many believe that he is favoring the church above their nobility. Are you yes. writing this down? Because I'm not. <laughs> he, has, yeah. he has enemies within the, ch within the metallics and chromatics. Oh. The church I is got that, yeah. guarded. He has made sure that one of the adult dragons is on guard at all times. One will be patrolling the skies above the Colosseum, but if you can make your way into his royal box, it'll be unguarded. As for entryways into the city, the sewers have recently had their traps replaced. Adric may know of secret passages into the palace, but Korak has ensured that they have been changed different mechanisms, different blocks. It will be very dangerous. And then her eyes like, bah! Curse you. All right. And I put the hood back over her head. No! <laughs> you just hear her like, no, you traitor. Oh, Come back here. That was a tough one. Um, well, with that, we are going to take a break time. Okay. We are going right. to take a break. We I, I leave the room to find Ad, uh, Ad Adric and tell him what I know. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we will return to this after a short break. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Hello, and welcome back to High Rollers. <laughs> Sound a bit tense, Mark. <laughs> I'm not tense. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. A bit backed up there. If I do need to rush off, I might have to rush off a bit later. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'll DM, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. So, welcome back. You right there, Tom? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. It's just when I was in there and you smashed through the door. I was like, Coming I through! <laughs> The thing is, is nothing happened. There was just, you know, it was a lot of work. Oh, don't not worry, not nothing happened. I feared for my life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the stream where I embarrassed myself by talking about my bowel problems. Uh, welcome back. Uh, the party had just been interrogating a member of the Claw of Tiamat, the Church of Tiamat, mm. um, before they try and infiltrate the capital city of Brasaris to kill Korak. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, it kind of sounds like we need to kill this Queen Visca as well. It does, doesn't it? It yeah. feels like we've got somebody else new on the hit list. Korak's not really the problem. Right, so i like they're probably both going to be together. Oh, I, I find the group after leaving the room and Cam still unconscious on the floor inside. Did you just leave him in there? I leave him in there <laughs> with the woman in there as well. She's still chained up with a bag over her head. Jeez. I didn't want that in curse, but that's what I did. That? So okay. I just did it. I, I didn't think. All right. I just. How bound is she? I've got very. I've got a lot of Don't information that I need to tell the group urgently, but not Cam. Right. Apparently. Okay. Because he's. I was reckless. Sometimes I make mistakes. That is going to be I one. I mean, of I'd them. like to think that my teeth oh, no. and guards would be around. You left me on her own with her. You'll be fine. Just rolled some shit, and he's suspicious. Quickly, group! I have information of utmost importance. Ar Arak. Right. I'm I'm off. Um, Adrak. Adric. 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 Hey. Adric and friends and tiefling come. I'm off out trying to like rally the remaining tieflings to pack up their belongings. Okay. Prepare to move. I, I pay a young Saito tiefling, a young upstart, uh, some coin to find you. Well, you probably just shout my name. I tried that. <laughs> and then you said that he, you're probably off. You're to away thing. somewhere. Yeah. A small tiefling boy. A small, a, very nubile. <laughs> with a, a pouch of jingling coins yeah. fresh in his palm. Yes. Comes Excellent tactic, boy. <laughs> and he finds you and tells you that the uh, the scary dragon man uh, in the dark clothes wants to talk to you. I gave him a whole gold coin. He's not scary, child. Seems pretty scary. Okay, so finds you. Um, you don't want me to know. I might have to, actually, yeah. What? We go back to find that Cam's been stabbed No, you guys, death. so you find, Juto is brought to you, and Hello. To, um, Lady Amarillo. I have information Sorry that I have extracted from, I'll presume Adrax just quietly nodding away Adric. whilst you're doing something. He is. Adric. Sorry, Adrax, um, Adrax. Lady Amarillo will ask where Cam that. is. He's my friend, my cousin. Where is, where is Mr. Buckland? He went with you, didn't he? Oh. Um, he's unconscious on the floor inside with the prisoner. The prisoner is restrained and has a bag over the head, but the information I have seems so urgent that it slipped my mind that, it, yes, he is unconscious on the floor in there. He's not unconscious Ow. because I did anything. He feigned death in order to help me convince the prisoner. I'm just going to leave immediately. He's a war hero. And like, I, I say he's a war hero. I'm just going uh, to leave just in immediately case. and trying to find him. Okay, he, right. He does feign death. I was over there. <laughs> like, I point towards where I was. So. Idiot. Oh, ah, ah. Due to his temperate, like, ah, extremely ah. tested right now. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ah, stung. <laughs> Can you man? make, so technically, you are blinded while you're under feigned death. I'm everything. You are, no, you are blinded and incapacitated. An incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions, but it doesn't say that your senses are completely nulled. Um, what does feign death say? Is it not Fe like you are death, as if dead? For this spell's duration, until an action appears to touch a creature, um, the target appears to be dead to all outward inspection and to spells used to determine the target's status. The target is blinded and incapacitated. Its speed drops to zero. The target has resistance to all damage except psychic damage. If the target is diseased or poisoned when you cast a spell or becomes diesel or poisoned while under the spell's effects, they have no effect until the spell ends. Can you make a perception check for me? Mm. With disadvantage, because you are blinded. <laughs> But would that not make his sense of hearing? No, he's not. He's not. It's all good. <laughs> that get? one. Natural one! <laughs> what's, the total? what's the total? You uh, a... Perception would yeah. be a six. <laughs> My god. What have I done? You, guys... you do kind of hear. You're kind of like. You're, you can, all you can see is blackness, but you're vaguely aware that you are on the floor. You can kind of feel the cold floor. You can still feel what's happening to your body. And you can hear, like somebody wiggling in the chair. You can hear them wiggling for quite some time. I think. Don't do that. Wiggling. Just don't. Maybe for a minute. <laughs> I've got a whole hour. And then <laughs> you do hear the wiggling stop. Good. <laughs> machine chains. And then you feel something oh. poking into you. Slap your face. 
you feel acid bubbling away, you're gonna take about 10 points of damage. That's already half from resistance as like various things are done to you. Like a, almost like a quiet test. Like you feel like acid begin to pit your arm. You feel like a blade, like a thin blade kind of like sliding I'm into your skin. I'm just trapped like, inside my own hmm. feigned dead body. And it's just like, yeah, all you can do is feel what's going on. So she's uh. basically she's testing, or somebody's testing to see if he's dead. Or what the effects of the spell could be. Okay. You're not there, so. How, so, how would the time work on... Yeah, how long until yeah. she bursts in after a talent? So I leave. That's what I'm currently thinking. It's not very long. Like, I literally left the room and, and started found, shouting. You did have to go and find a boy. A boy, I called a boy to me who, yeah, maybe went and found you. Oh, how long would that roughly take? Five minutes? Yeah, I'd say maybe five to ten minutes. By the time you got everybody gathered and then told them. <laughs> then you immediately rush off to go and find out where Cam is. Because, you, well, that and you left the Just enemy the, unguarded. Being she dragged. was restrained. Huh? She was restrained. She was. She was tightly restrained. Um, in my defense. Uh, he's a war hero. She was as well. In my well. defense. He's a twat. <laughs> um, you feel yourself being dragged, like, harshly across the floor, like, <laughs> oh. um, This is not ideal. No. Uh, Thanks for that. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. In a monologue. <laughs> is it Juto time? I'm just making some checks on what some things that are going on in the other minutes that you're not there. Furious. Furious. Who leaves a powerful spellcaster on their own <laughs> with an unconscious ally in the middle of a tiefling sanctuary? I know, those tieflings are dangerous. <laughs> I say. I'm just joking sh I'm me. shouting this as I'm just like running. Uh. There's a reason. No, don't worry, I'm not going to say that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are dragged briefly across the floor, and you feel yourself uh, being put into a chair. No, well, don't do that. And then you begin to feel the sensation of somebody melting your arm off. What? Like, pulling, holding out your arm, and at the same point that you remember the woman's arm being kind of cut off by Korak, you begin to feel like a constant kind of drip of acid, like draining of acid, just constantly burning it at it. And so damage doesn't wake you up from feigned air? It does. He is incapacitated blamed for the duration. It's got to be a dispel. Um, it's got to be dispelled, um, but you do have resistance, so it takes a long time. Does it take longer than the... That's why I'm going to work out, because you can do a certain amount of damage What's every six seconds. with James Franco seconds. where his arm's trapped in there? Yeah. 137 hours? Probably how long it's going to take. It's his leg, isn't it? It's his arm. No, oh, arm. Is it? Oh, I'm thinking of sore. <laughs> wow. Very <laughs> different. Yeah. Oh my god, my arm. You're just resistant off. to damage. It doesn't say it wakes him up. Um, so you, you have this con. You're like you're you're blinded, but you're aware of what's happening. So you, <gasps> you can't speak. You can't say anything. But you just Screaming feel this like it's horrible yeah, being melted nice. away. Every six seconds, you can do. What's your maximum hit points? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. A lot, aren't they? A double line. <laughs> I mean, even if this went on for two minutes, that's 20 turns. Yeah, that's what I know. That's what I'm trying to calculate in my head. I reckon that'd be enough. That's 120 points. And then she could. Okay, so Juto, you burst in the room and you see a uh, figure kind of wrapped up in like deserty kind of robes with a bag on its head. Well, literally the one we were fighting, right? Huh? The girl we were fighting, the woman we were fighting. You initially think so. Like, it's missing an arm, um, and it's clothed in, in things, and it's tied up. Um, but you notice the ropes are really loose. Like, it's not been tied up really well. Um, and then as you kind of draw closer, that's when you notice pink skin, cam scruff of a beard. Um... So there's no one there? Question. Uh, Go on. She hasn't got... If she didn't have an arm missing, would she be able to perform all of the somatic parts? Of she can still can perform some somatics, yes. Right, okay. But she would not be able to hold something at the same time. Right. Okay. Um, but there are certain spells which you can do without somatics and stuff as well. But yeah, uh, you, you you look around and the body in the chair is Cam's with an arm missing, kind of loosely draped in a black Holy fabric, fucking shit. <laughs> with a bag on his head <laughs> and tied up loosely, and there is no sign of the dragon. <laughs> That man's a war hero. Can I? <laughs> um, Cam's arm is missing. Can I go into Void Stance? Yes. And use True Sight to see. Uh, what's the range? 120, 120 feet. feet. It can't go through solid objects, I don't think. Um, I can see normal and magical darkness, see invisible creatures and objects, detect visual illusions and succeed on saving throws against them, perceive original form of shapes 
changes or magic you, creature forms transform no, creatures. Nothing in your vis in your visibility changes. I can see into changes. the ethereal plane. Nothing changes. You can see that there is a window with ever so faint light kind of peering in, um, like just from the Does outside. It, but it's it's dark outside. It's getting quite late. Does it look like she went through the window? Uh, it's a thin eyes. arrow <laughs> slit. Like you, uh, his eyes his eyes are just closed. He looks dead. Cam looks dead, but you've seen him do this spell before, feign death, and, and Balathith is telling Pretty you that convincing he right now. purposely. Mm. I'm going to shout. So his arm is missing. Shout. Guards! To arms! She got away! Okay. Uh, the few... Bit soon, isn't it? He's just lost his. <laughs> Kim's just like, I will uh -huh. kill you, Alex Smith. Uh -huh. um, there is a general commotion. Uh, there are a few. There are still a few tieflings that are armed, but also still some dragonborn who are armed, and they begin... Like, there's a, an I'm urgent not. cry of running out, <laughs> hey. um, and yeah, it kind of news quickly spreads and they begin patrolling. Out, it takes a few moments. Lady Amarillith, um, Adric, and that come and find you. Lady Amarillith just sees Cam and it's like, oh my, by Bahamut, and she starts pulling him apart. Um, she will cast the <laughs> well, as in like pulling now. the clothes off and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she will look at the arm, do her best to bandage it, but then will she can't regenerate it, so she will dispel magic from the feigned death. And you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I burst in. It's your that man's a war hero! Left arm. Left arm. You idiot! <laughs> Why did you leave him? Who tied him? Did I tie him up? Adric tied her up. I'm not gonna say anything. I know! Damn! <laughs> what are you going to do about this? There's not very much I can! I made a minor illusion it to make it look like he's got an arm. Oh, it's back. It's, it's, not, not, <laughs> it's not back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to tell you some stuff before. My head just Where is kind of she? Through my illusion head. Uh, I don't know. Where is she? I fly. I want to fly. I want to fly. So you rush <laughs> out and you fly up. You yeah. Fly and you I cast fly and I begin looking desperately for her. Okay. It's night time. I need you to give me deception. Uh, deception I have dark check. vision. Oh, uh, you're perfect. So you yeah. can make perception check without disadvantage. Okay. Um, Moon is out. Um, and you begin patrolling around. Also, at the same time, various guards, the Dragonborn, are searching for tracks outside. Um, can I? Nice. Nice. Can, can make a survival check? This is the smartest infiltrator we have. 20. Not natural. Okay. Oh, what what is Raynon doing at this point? I mean, I'm just like looking at Cam like... Can you get my arm back, Raynon? <laughs> I, I need so. my arm back. I think so. Maybe. I'm a lefty. Um, Lady <laughs> Amareth is healing it, so at least it's like, at the moment it's like a raw burn. Like, it cauterized, yeah. but like, she's doing her best to like... Nice in it off, like I called him no tail. Maybe that's why. Uh. What's fourteen plus eight? Twenty-two. That. Okay, and then you got twenty on perception. So Juto, you and the guards outside, you manage to locate, like you find tracks. Um, it's like she just appeared on the ground down below, um, and then she ran. She ran off into the desert. Um, the sand. There is a breeze, so it's kind of hard to track her in the loose desert of the sand, but you kind of she is heading basically towards Brasara. She's she's just running for it. Do so um, I think I can catch up with her? Uh, now that you know the distance, potentially you will need to keep making sure that you're following the track, so it will slow you down a little bit. Has it been seven days? <laughs> you're gonna try and divine intervention. I don't think it you Wait, did I use Because you were using it for Elora, you used it the day before you left, it's only been two days. But I failed. Oh, well, we travelled in the airship. You did fail, so you could try again. Bring her back. Andre, give me my arm. Oh, no, not the arm. 52. <laughs> oh. What do you have to get to for it to work? My level um, or below. Under 15, 15 or under. Oh. It's a 15% chance. It's really... How often you got you, 51 there. Can you once, try to cast it once a day? Yeah. All right. So, um, so you begin following the tracks. Um, you move at a much faster rate. Even I'm get, you can't burn key points the whole time, so I'm guessing you're just taking a normal dash action. Mm. So you can go, what's your normal movement speed? 55? 55. So you can go 110 feet every six seconds. You're pretty <laughs> fucking quick. That's nuts. Oh it's yeah, monks break physics. Um, I'm flying above. Looking. You are flying at 60 feet around, yeah. so you can go 120, but yeah. you can go basically as the crow flies. And I have dark vision for 120 feet. And you got 20 on your perception check. Yeah. So she probably had about six minutes head start, so mm. she was going about 60 foot every six seconds, so mm. she's getting 600 foot a minute. So you, it takes you a while to mm -hmm. catch up with her. She's like out in the thick desert, mm -hmm. but you eventually see this hooded figure just booking it. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't seem to realize that you're flying after her. She either didn't know that you could fly or wasn't expecting it, and she's just running. Okay. Um, yeah, you're just flying above her. 
Okay. And it will take uh, you to probably mm -hmm. less than a few, like you'll probably be there in about 30 seconds after Balath this. Like you'll just show you, but you need to give me two more survival checks just to make sure you can keep the tracks going. Do I get uh, like advantage for being having true sight? Um, Lady Amarith does say, mm -hmm. tomorrow I can fix this. Oh. I can regenerate the arm. 25? Uh, 25, yeah. Yeah, you pass. So next one. Can I roll that yeah, again? Roll that again. That was, That's ridiculous. That was roll it in the box. <laughs> it was in the box. It was in the dice bit. Uh, ooh, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this time you're starting to get turned around. It's going to slow you down. What are you doing, Balathus? Uh, I'm going to drop down and hit her with a telekinesis spell to hold her, and hold her basically, okay. to grab her. Uh, so I have to make a strength saving through. Uh, wisdom. Nice. I believe. No, sorry, wait one sec. No, yeah. Uh, I think you're right. She's going to fail. Uh, is she right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you reach down and with telekinesis, you can even do it from in the honor. Oh it's It says make an ability check with your spell casting ability contested by the creature's strength check. Okay, so you roll the d20 and then add your spell casting ability modifier. Yeah, okay. Fucking yeah. good. Like yeah. 20. So you yeah. have to land. You can't do it where you're flying because they're both yeah, I did land. spells. Yeah, yeah, you land, yeah, yeah. You land down and just with your hand, you just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm doing that. I can make an ability. Yeah, right. So you can try and move this person. Yes. Okay. Um, but until the next, it, it basically it's a 10 minute. Oh, also I want to spend some sorcery points to extend the duration of the spell. Okay. Um, so one sec, that's what I was looking at before you asked me. Yeah, so uh, technically each round she can try and resist it, but it's gonna mm -hmm. be pretty tricky to like break free of the telekinetic grip. So I'm not gonna keep rolling. I'm probably gonna make like one roll every, every sort of few minutes. Okay, so I'm- she, she, You've got her in place. I'm holding it and I want to turn and start walking it back towards like- So you just start like, trekking through the yeah, desert like- <laughs> Uh, it's, gonna take, it's gonna take you several hours probably to walk, like an uh, hour at least to walk back. In which case, I'm yeah, gonna. But then within about 30, so you land, you cast a spell, and yeah. you start coming back the other yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And then you just see like sand being kicked up in the distance. <laughs> Is that cavalry? <laughs> it almost looks like cavalry trekking uh, across, and then this tiefling monk, due to you see that Balathis is just holding and she's in midair. You've seen telekinesis before. I he's am literally beyond furious <laughs> now. He's just bringing her back, basically. She knocked down Yang Yang. She stole his arm. Uh -huh. uh, stole. Well, what do you want to do with him? So I presume you make it to us. Does she make it to you? <laughs> well, I'm holding her. Okay, I, I admit I messed up. I've got her. What, what would you, what do you want to do with her? She's yours to do whatever you want, and I'm just holding her still. I'm not going to attack straight away, but I'm going to say to you. Mm -hmm. Don't break my concentration. Did you get the information you needed? Oh yes. Then we don't need her anymore. This is true. I'm going to attack her. I mean, she's helpless at this point. You can just kill her. I'm just going to kill her. Yep. You just whoop, ram the Gwen down. And as, as I ram into her, I'm just going to be like. Do not touch my allies and live. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Can I use my telekinesis to like scoop out a bit of ground to bury her? And, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm like, taking the arm. You're, huh? You're taking an arm. Well, is, has she got the arm? Uh, no. No, she just. I, I thought maybe she. Do you want to take one of her, her other arm? Yes. Okay. I, ri I rip it off. You take her right arm, <laughs> and then scoop some of the ground up. You just stick her in, and then. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I take off. And you, fly, yeah. <laughs> you keep pacing. Oh, shit, I spat everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. Sorry. So the two of you, it takes you like an hour or so just to get back and stuff like that. Like you know, just like trekking through. And I'm just yeah. gonna, I'm gonna come yes. back in, slam the door open, <clears throat> throw the arm down yeah. in front of Cam. I mean, so we're, we're it's a like right like... dragonborn arm. What were we doing? What were you? Doing? Just, well, what? What happened in there? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh Damn! God. I want you to know, you're a goddamn war hero. Thank you. And what happened Don't to you in there? In front of Avantra, Christ. The, the, what, what happened to you in there? I can only apologise for the nature of the mission. To me, is, is, is the the objective is I get I get clouded sometimes, and all I see is I need to give this news to everybody. I forgot you were on the floor in there. Uh, what you did ultimately didn't help. To get any information out of her, but you know, yeah, it was a good performance. Though. I loved it. You, you did great. And tomorrow, hopefully, our allies will sort your arm right out. If not, it's Lady, a... Am Lady Amarith is she's so. By the way, you were at like you had you taken like nearly all of your HP. Oh, also, Juto so got you. your spare arm if you want it. It's it's, it's okay. the wrong arm. But... It's just kind of twitching on the. Floor. Do you want two right um, arms? <laughs> Belly, it's fine. You just put it. 
put it. What's the matter? I was gonna shake your hand. Let's Don't go. You're gonna shake my hand! Lady Aerith is like, just discard the, the Dragonborn's arm for now. Tomorrow morning I will I will regenerate it. It will be it will be my my most powerful spell I can do, but I can do it. Can we have a brief chat? About what? Privately. Okay. I'm just uh, before before all that trauma happens. <laughs> I'm just gonna like because Juto is just furious at this point. I think everyone's gathered. At that. It's just like yeah. it's yeah. just it's, everything's gone wrong. It's all bad. But I'm gonna lay my hand, not my arm, on your shoulder. And go. Which one? Cam. Left or right? The non- You've got both shoulders. The non. Yeah, your shoulders. I know, are but it's, it's close, isn't it? The not the non-sticky one. <laughs> are you all right? I've lost my arm, Juto. And I have killed the person who did it. Good. Maybe that should have happened before the arm went away. But that's fine. <laughs> Apparently I'm gonna get it tomorrow. Are you all right? I'm damaged. Temporarily. I think, I think Lady Amy can get it back. It's fine. You will lose the tan. <laughs> it will be new skin. I'm... Can you not singe it? Not in the same in way. In a nice way. Not in the same way. It will look quite pink. You'll have to build the tan back up, I'm afraid. But there'll Luckily. be a line. Don't do it. Don't do it. Live without the arm, I would. No tan. I'll do put... not listen to this idiot. <laughs> Sun's out. <laughs> Forearm's out. Gun out. <laughs> just the one, though. Is I'm it kind of the, the elbow? Yes, it's uh, just above. Just above. It's like here. Juto, I'll be fine. Good. And then I just leave I've the taken room. worse hits. I just leave the room. <laughs> You've lost you? your fucking arm! Oh, yeah. What's the worst hit than losing an arm? <laughs> well, your penis was shrunk down to a natural one. That's the worst that's ever happened to me. Really? Yeah, to a noodle. Andrik is just uh, <laughs> a little bit perplexed. Sorry. I'm glad that Lady Amarith can restore it. Uh, what we should discuss our next moves. Miss, Ju- Miss Jing, I know that you... No, I've, to... I've left. I'm late. He's <laughs> like, cut it, Miss Jing, before I need you... To, I'm just going to hold right. up and be like, I need to take some time. Very well. And just walk away. Well, we will discuss our next steps. Uh, You're right, aren't you? That's yes. Awesome. Slap him on the I'm back. I'm only right now. <laughs> oh, everyone's so dramatic. I mean, well, uh, just a little bit of an arm loss. Didn't you and Emerith want to chat? Yeah. I was just going to suggest a bigger forearm if you could grow a bigger one back. Oh, yeah. She's like, can she, she do looks that? at you. Yeah, I think she's not. I'm a lefty. I need it for throwing daggers. I can't make it stronger than it was before. Like, I'm afraid you will be returned to... Oh, you one of those? Thing. You one of those that can take the form of people? Uh, I shouldn't, not, not I'm actually asking that time. I'm not asking you, I'm asking you You're as, asking as a DM. Is yeah, is she yes. an old dragon? Yes, she's, oh, a, she's right. an okay. adult dragon. Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> one of those? One of those Ooh. Oh, spicy. Um, no, she, she just looks at you as like, I can't make it stronger than it was before, I'm afraid. That's You'll have to okay, build your strength man. back up. That's fine. I can build it back. Is it going to be weaker? It won't be weaker, but it, obviously it will be fresh. It will be new. Like newborn babies. Um. <laughs> like in Deadpool. Like Deadpool. It's going to be a little bit, that? yeah, but quicker, much faster. Sweet. It's going to feel huge. Banks. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, how the hell did all of this happen? <laughs> I was away for like five minutes. That is what I like to call the Alex Smith effect. No. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> So you man. you leapt on the opportunity to have him alone with the unconscious, didn't you? It was. I was just like, oh, you're leaving him there, are you? Well, what can just... I do to him? Oh, what's that? It was like literally like every six seconds she's gonna try and break free. Right. Oh, yep, failed that six seconds. Eighteen, nineteen, hmm. eighteen. Yep, she's free. <laughs> That's fine. Unbelievable. I didn't get hurt. Magic. Yes, we should discuss our next moves, Mister Balathus. What did you discover? I discovered a lot of things that Juto wrote down. Um, thank you. Uh, I discovered uh, that uh, we should not use the red or the gold gate uh, for our entrance as uh, they are heavily guarded. Mm-hmm. There are traps that have been put into the sewers, new traps that have been put into the sewers that uh, will prevent our entry as we, because we were thought about doing it that way, didn't we? But apparently there's traps. So those will be fine as long as uh, perhaps our ranger can detect them yeah. um, or disarm them. Um, Maybe not disarm, but find. Okay, we can avoid them. One of the biggest challenges is going to be that uh, the head of the Church of Tiamat, uh, Queen Uiska? Visca. Visca, sorry. Um, Queen Visca 
is um, going to be there, <laughs> essentially, uh, and angry. And we could try and, if we had, if we want to do this the long way, we could try and create friction between her and Korak and create some sort of civil unrest. But I'm that, afraid that we don't have the time. We don't have the time. Do I perceive this conversation being thing dead? No. You would have heard it, actually, yeah. You would have heard it. It's something to do with Korak falling out of favor with certain people close to him, so he's kidnapping those that are... Well, the, the people he kidnapped here were because he wanted to replenish his ranks, is that right? Is that um, so you remember the conversations, basically he... Uh, they basically wanted people for the Colosseum, for the... the oh, for fight pits, pits entertainment. But what she said is that the... It's not just the Metallics and Tieflings that are against the Korak. There are there some Chromats who feel that his favoritism of the Church of Tiamat is grown, you know, basically being calculating evil nobles, because they all are, some of them don't feel that they're getting their, their just, their slice of the pie, and so they are unhappy with Korak as well. So what he's done is he's kidnapped their families to put in the Colosseum as well. Yeah. So, so there are some chromatic dragons that would have something against Now one him. thing you would know as Balathis is that every now and then Korak, generally the, the fighting pits are just, you know, Korak and the Chromats go and watch blood sports. Mm -hmm. But every now and then, because he's a capricious egomaniac, Korak makes it mandatory for the whole city to attend. And generally he does it as a show of force of like, mm. here are all your traitors, now watch them die, that's what happens kind of deal. Um, and she mentioned that he was gonna, he was planning one such event in a couple of days. Mm. Um, or the other one is that the Imperial Palace, you could, there are secret entrances into that as well, but he's also replenished the traps um, and changed them from what Adric knew. So Korak himself will be at the fighting pit? Yes. Yes. In the royal box. One other thing to consider is there will be adult dragons, both above the city and, and, uh, the, fighting and the fighting pit. Hmm. It's going to be a scary time. He will be unguarded during the fight. Well, unguarded. He won't have extent. his. He, they won't be necessarily asthma. right by him. You know, he's, he needs The to... Imperial Palace, I can tell you, is a walled compound itself. Um, it is secluded in the center of the city. It is patrolled by a platoon of the finest military in Brasaris. I suspect that many of the metallic troops have been sent to faraway settlements and uh, borders to make sure that there is not opposing forces against uh, it. How far that we can trust this information should be questioned as well. You know, yeah. it was taken solely from one source who was under duress. Um, Shortly so after. You used magic on them, though. I did. I'm, fa I'm fairly sure, but, you know, we always need to be prepared for perhaps some deception. We could be walking into a trap still. It is, if they are aware of Miss Jing's village, it is very likely that they are aware that we will be attempting something. Um, now, our attempt at something, do we try and swap you for Korak without everybody noticing, or do we make a I will, mockery of him? I, my claim to the throne is rightful one. I, I cannot be my brother. He is a cruel, sadistic, twisted individual. I have promised myself that I would not deceive others of who I am. I will claim that throne and I will rule. If there are people that wish to oppose me, then they will have to be dealt with. You need to worry about the charge of Tiamat. Um, because yes. they, they were, they, they were, they've only really allowed Korak to be in there because he's almost, you know, they're a puppet. Their puppet, in a way. So part, part, a... part of you assuming rule may require you to replace the leadership of the church, perhaps. I believe that that is necessary, or at least the demolish, or at least dissolving the church entirely. Yeah. Tiamat is a corrupting influence. My teachings of Baalbat have taught me this. She cannot be trusted. My people, the Chromats, have worshipped her for a long time because they felt that it was just, because we had always done. But this thinking, this deceit, this manipulation, this has infested Dragonborn culture for generations. It must be put to a stop. Is there an honor code system that the whole city can respect if you were to challenge him? Yes. The ancient dragons are bound by magical oaths that they must obey he who sits, or he or she who sits in the worm throne. Once I kill my brother, and I am rightfully crowned by taking my seat there, my bloodline should register it as a and rightful claim. Kill cannot be mischievous or Stealthy? It can. I would prefer it not to be. I would rather kill him myself with your help. In the pit. In the pit. It is. With the whole city. He watching. has no reason to accept a challenge from me. What if we make it no option? 
how would you oppose to do this? I'm welcome to the ideas. What I can be do, very suggestive. What do winners in the fighting pits actually get? Freedom. They are entitled exile from Rosaris, as I won many years ago. Okay. Maybe we put his life on the line, unable to uh, choose but to fight for his life. He has the greatest army on this continent. He has dragons at his command. But if How someone has a knife to his throat, what can they do? <laughs> My brother is not so one as to necessarily be swayed by a knife at the throat. He is a powerful warrior himself, and he could simply command a dragon to eat the person holding him. What's his relationship with Visca? Was it Visca? I believe close. They are um, intimately involved, shall we say. Oh. Mm. What if we use her yeah. as a negotiation tool? If you can obtain her, yes, but she is a powerful priestess herself. It is likely her who sent these individuals after us. She is a big threat. She could blink us into the middle of the sea. Yeah. If there was a way to... I believe that if we were to fight Korak in the fighting pits, we would at least be witnessed by the entirety of Brasaris. If you could pull him into the arena, force him into a battle. It does not matter if it, it does not need to be a formal challenge. This does not need to be me against him, all oaths. I simply need to kill him. Is he a man that will save his face recklessly? If you were to embarrass him, that not choosing combat with him would be very disrespectful. He is arrogant. He is arrogant. I believe he genuinely thinks he could defeat me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. I do not know if I can defeat him. What if he could choose allies and you could choose allies? Potentially. But how do we force him into that battle? That's the difficulty. He has no reason to accept, apart from perhaps stroking at his ego. Who actually fights in the fighting pits against the prisoners? Monsters, generally. Creatures captured from the desert. Um, sometimes the prisoners have pitted against each other. I had to kill many of my fellow prisoners when I was in there. Uh, okay. What we could try and do is, just give me one second. You can feel free to come back in if you want. I could... No, I'm off like helping okay. people. Like okay. my, my concern is, is with this village. my, okay. yeah, my tieflings yep. and stuff, so I'm helping them to pack and okay. I could try... Saito and... will probably spend that time with you and he, he will actually tell you that there are tunnels that lead into the Dawn Republic mm -hmm. and they, he can send like, he can well, help you get there. Yeah. Surely. Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it won't be able to, it, it can fit everyone actually, the size of the airship. This village isn't huge. It's yeah. maybe like 100 people. But I'm, I'm using the kind of distraction to sort of calm myself down. Okay. We could, uh, I could try and convince some people close to him to um, egg him on in the moment to fight him. So I could use mass suggestion to uh, perhaps get whoever his cohort is at the time to agree with the idea of how fighting. Many, how many does that affect? 12. So 12 people in a crowd of... But if you think about the fact that his advisors and people like that are likely going to be the ones around him near his box, I presume he has some sort of viewing box. If what the green dragonborn assassin told us was true, it might be that there may even be chromats among that crowd which actually we wish to see sway them. Before. Yeah. We could sway them. We just need to get some information on somebody uh, potentially and they who... And they could get us in a good position. We're looking for sympathizers, essentially, with, for, with us at the moment. Those who'd be interested in seeing him fall. That is your forte, Balathus. I'm sure if you were to move ahead of us, mm. you could speak with people within the crowd. I believe your position would be best using your magic to disguise yourself, slip yourself amongst that crowd, mm. be next to my brother when he is... I could decide, disguise myself as a chromat and try and work out who may be subjective, to, um, who may be open to the idea of seeing him fall. So that would leave us to infiltrate the city and make our way to the fighting pits for the day of this battle, this event that he is taking he part in. He says two days from now. Yes. Are there, in the fighting pits, commentators. People shouting amongst the crowd to commentate the battle. Mm, not from when I was there. It is more... The, my brother will announce the scenario. Normally it is uh, survival against a monster or a pitched battle against each other. My brother likes to play commander with the lives of his prisoners. Okay. But once it begins, it is simply a case of seeing who lives afterwards. The crowd, especially the chromatic crowd, cares more for blood and violence than they care for um, entertainment. Yeah, okay. Mm. Well, that's fine. Then it seems that this may be the best option to strike. But how do we approach? Do we go through the sewers knowing that they are traps? You had another solution of perhaps a caravan to assist us in. We can, I, I, I'm fairly sure that I can get us by any, by any guards um, using my tricks. Uh, it's probably best that we get to Brasaris, I get you through the gate, we find a safe house, 
you guys stay there for a day. I go out and see if I can find some sympathizers and have everything in position for when you do make your move in the fighting pits. Mm. I appreciate that you are not a warrior, Malathus. No, your skills as will I've be more proven today. It will be more useful to have you perhaps working in the shadows, directing things as we need. If you can get, if you can force Korak into a fight with us, that will be enough. Mm. Sounds good to me. How do the citizens of Brasaris feel about Korak? I'm sure it depends on who you ask. The metallics despise him, much as we do. Mm -hmm. The slaves will, of course, feel, share the same sentiments. But many Chromats will, some will be in favor. They, he has brought prosperity and wealth to Chromats within my country, my kingdom. Uh, the mm -hmm. Church of Tiamat, he is, from what I've learned, he has particularly given valuables to, and they have grown their influence significantly. Their temple is now a lavish palace full of gold and jewels fitting to their queen. Well, at least the crowd will want to see him fight in case he dies, or see the one they admire kill his foe. Indeed. I believe that that is a good way of pushing forward on this. As I mentioned, my brother is supremely arrogant. He believes himself to be the greatest dragonborn of all. Um, and if there is indeed, if that can be persuaded, egged on, as you say, I believe that he may see it as a chance, perhaps as a way of finishing me off once and for all. That may be the way to persuade him convince his advisors that this is a way for him to end the threat, to prove he is superior once and for all. Mm. We know that he must fear me. That is why he sent these assassins. And he wants to send an army to tell us about. Indeed. And without me. Without me to lead them, it would make the, his victory easier. I think you might have to adopt some of his cockiness. I can do that for the time being. Uh, I will not lie. There is no small amount of satisfaction in being able to take down my brother in front of the country I was exiled from. It will give hope to the Metallics and to the Tieflings as well. To make him reckless would make him vulnerable. Indeed. However, do not suspect Visca will be as easy to sway. She is cunning and has likely manipulated my brother immensely. She's probably the first that we should deal with. She will likely be there with him. We may have to fight her and my brother together, and if there is indeed an adult dragon in the grounds, it is likely that they will attack us as well. And you know how dangerous they can be. Mm-hmm. I do. Lady Amarith will be with us. Yeah. Perhaps I can find out who um, who gives the adult dragons their orders? Or... Rack. He, or he rack. literally can command them. Right. Let's find Juto and tell her the news. Very well. So, you take a bit of time, you go and find Juto, let her know what's happening. Do you have any thoughts for the group? No? no? You're just busy sorting everybody out? I'm harmless. Um, they seem reluctant to leave, but given the, the scare that they've recently have, most of the tieflings are willing to go if you, that's what you think is best. Many of them kind of say, if that's what you think is best, Juto, yes, we'll do it. And they just kind of go off on their way. Um, you see Yuan Yang frustrated, um, Consi sort of like, looking over maps and things, and you can, she's just she's like, oh, I can't believe this. I thought we were doing so well. And all along, they could have just marched an army in here and killed all of us. Wait, so we're thinking about taking the two things? No, they're going to go on no, the airship. Go I was going to say, no, we, they're, we're, they're, they're we're going to them. them. No, okay. They're going on the airship yeah, to okay. keep them safe. Okay. Yeah, I'm sending them away, because yeah. this place is clearly, clearly yeah, compromised. compromised. Yeah, compromised. Yeah. Um, For we know, they knew about it as soon as you created it. Or maybe it was helping the Dragonborn, maybe it was me, I don't know. If there is one thing I have learned is that we can spend ages raking over the past, but we need to look to the future. And right now that involves getting everyone to safety, to the airship. We can rebuild, we can, we can find a new home. Yes, I suppose so, but what about, there's so many other tieflings out there, what are we gonna do about them? Like, it's great that we've saved the people here, but there's so many more of us due to, we need to do more than this. I guess since our, uh, since, we, since we have returned, we have not had a chance to properly catch up. The reason I have returned, and indeed with Adric, the twin brother of Korak, we intend to kill the real Korak, and in doing so, install Adric to the throne. When he does, he will free all tieflings. Are we sure that he'll keep to that promise? I mean, he's a nice guy, I'm sure, but he's gonna be pressured by his other people. They're not gonna to wanna to just give us up, Juto. We're free labor. I mean, I appreciate the resistance are good and they've helped us a lot and I can tell that they respect us, but 
not everybody's like them. This is not just a couple of hundred people. If he doesn't have the right people by his side and telling him what to do, he's just gonna get things twisted around again. Just like the old Dragonborn back, back, back when they were manipulated by these chromats. I will be by his side. What do you mean? He has asked me to be his advisor. She kind of looks for a moment, seems a bit bewildered. So you, you stay with him at the palace, I guess. And you, if you will join me. Well, what can I do? I'm not going to be much use there. You are resourceful. You kept this place running while I was gone. She kind of looks for a moment, kind of looks up at you. I can provide tactical security. I can provide the violence. Yeah, you're you... Not... She kind of looks up and smiles. Well, you're certainly not much of a diplomat, that's for sure. Exactly, but you are. All right, well, maybe this will work then. Maybe this is a way that we can, we can fix things. And you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. Uh, I don't know about that. You, you thought... stand up to me. Yeah, but that's because I know that you're really a big softy and you're not going to hurt anybody. Those Dragonborn were going to kill us. I'm not ready for that. I, I think I'll stay with the people on the ship until things are safe. Until. But after that, I will be by your side and I will not leave it again. You promise? I promise. She nods and she just kind of sits next to you and takes your hand in her hand and just holds it gently. Where did, uh, Jito, where did you get that ring? I can, I can wander up and just break it after I've seen you doing this. If you Leave. Like. Now. Uh, it's about the mission. I will talk to you in a moment. Come and find me. I walk off. I failed to follow the trail. Well, I, can I ask one of these guys, where did Jito get her ring with the cure wounds? Long story. Well, that long story, basically what I'm getting at is we need to think about... These adult dragons could be the, uh, the, the issue here. We, we, I, I can influence people, we can get things into position as much as we like, but when it comes down to fighting perhaps even two adult dragons, is there anything we can do to prepare? Perhaps, you know, um, a wizard or something back in the previous town we were in, the one that was wrecked? Um, yeah. Is there any sort of item we can get, some sort of almost like an explosive or anything like that, but the, perhaps we can... The ring she's using, we can put a spell into it, any spell. Doesn't any be spell. Uh, well. Up to sixth level. Up to, sixth level. Sixth. Yeah. Up to the sixth circle of power. Yeah. Is that how they, what they call it, right? Um, That's fine. So it could be, I guess there's an explosive spell. I don't really know, Cam. Or is there an item is. anyone can give us? Like we, we, we need, it can be a scroll or something. You know that like pretty much every, like Talent's file is tapped out. Like right. the war Thank wrecked its resources. Trixiana's a good spellcaster. She's, She's an, an illusionist, illusionist, however. She's also going to be powering the airship. Uh, well, oh, perhaps we can use the airship to give covering fire to keep the, the dragons could at bay. rain down, but then there's a lot of civilians yeah. in the Colosseum. And the cannons only. Well, I guess that would be up to Adric to make that call. But we need to think about how to neutralize these dragons. They are. A big you threat. you would know that it's likely only one dragon. Like there's one at the Imperial Palace and then one at the Colosseum. It right. could be that the other one could be called, but it might take some time for them if to get there. If you could manipulate Korak's mind, you control the dragon. I, that's putting a lot of eggs in a basket. Um, it's an option. The it's an option. Dragonborn saying, too many dragon eggs in a basket. Yeah. Creates a bad brood. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I, I can try that, absolutely I can try that. Um, I'm just trying when to... That fails. E examine all avenues of possibility, um, because that's what I do. I struggle to dominate people. Apart from the bit with you in a minute ago, but don't worry about that. I, I realised that my arm's gone. I, <laughs> I thought I was itching yeah. my knee, but I wasn't. Mm. Um, anyway, that's like, Well, um, yeah. And uh, I guess who would be around? So Lady Amaryllis. Well, being a dragon myself, dragons are very mentally resistant to dominations, influences, mm. things like that. And even an explosion, we're very hardy creatures. Uh, if I go with you, I, I, you may not know this, Balathis, I have sworn a, an oath to Bahamut. I, am, I do not fight, I do not harm others, mm. but I can try and restrain the other dragon, for a time at least, give you time to fight it. Mm. I can't promise that I can fend it off forever, however. Um, I am not as strong as other dragons, as you know. Um, but I can certainly, I can also continually heal. I can, even my appearance may be enough to sway some of the common folk to at least fight back against the guards. You will be a presence, that's for sure. One of the tricky factors that is that exists is, and you will see this in Brasaris, that we cannot allow Korak to reach the Imperial Palace. If he can reach the Worm Throne, 
He has the ability to awaken the ancient dragons, stone guardians that surround the city. Thunderfang, the dragon that we fought, mm -hmm. the ancient dragons are even older and more powerful. That can't happen. <laughs> um, it so ruined Talisman. Fighting him away from the Worm Throne is essential. So the Colosseum, it would. How does the Worm Throne work? Could you, could you assume the power of the Worm Throne? No, only the current heir, the current Worm King, whoever is, uh, who currently has the title, can control it. Does that go with controlling the other dragons as well, the yes. other two? Uh, he can generally summon them to him, the younger dragons, but it, it is not as powerful as a compulsion. The ancient dragons are, they are currently encased in stone. They are guardians that circle the city. But if he were to sit in it... Now, if Andric can kill Korak um, and return to the throne and claim his birthright as king, he would be able to tell them to, to revert back to stone if necessary. He could even summon the metallic ones to fight against them. It gives us considerable power. So we need to put him into power immediately. As soon How as possible. How long does it... Is it once he sits on the throne? It will take him some minutes of concentration. While on the throne? Yes. So, the moment we kill the real Korak, it's not just, bam, he has control? No. Okay, fine. He will have, worth knowing. Yes, once he is, once he is a king, he will be able to control the other dragons by command. Yes. Well, I just mean, in the middle will of the fight... Will the Church of Tiamat continue fighting him if he is the true king? We don't know. It, Adric does not believe so. He believes that his countrymen have at least that honour, that they will acknowledge his position. He's not been there for a long time. He hasn't, and that is what worries me. Could but if he can command the dragons, then there is significant reason for them not to resist. <laughs> we kill Korak immediately. That's the priority target. I believe it is best. So even if, we can, even if he does have one of these adult dragons at the Colosseum, if we can kill Korak quickly enough, and we can... Bend them off for minutes. We can, I mean, you yourself, you can teleport creatures a great distance, correct? Um, Dimension door. We could show you the way. It will take you several jumps, perhaps, but you could reach him quickly there. The airship is the cannons. slow. Yes, the cannons. Gunpowder, I presume. Yes, yes. Could you Dimension door through a few barrels of gunpowder, put it under the, uh, sort of, underneath the area where he sits in the Colosseum? Blow him up. Or at least stun him, or you know, surprise him somehow. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of the good old-fashioned subterfuge. Yeah, may that... catch innocent people in the bars radius. Yeah, so. It's true. And I do not believe Adric wishes. He loves his country, and even the people that hate him, he does not wish them to come to harm if possible. It's too indiscriminate. Yes, very much so. People will remember that. If we are win, we need to be better than Korak himself. If we are challenging to a fight, then we have to find a way of getting Korak to the throne as quickly as possible. If we're not challenging to a fight and we're going in for a, an assassination, I suppose, then Korak could just be at the throne already. We could fight him at the Imperial Palace. It is a slightly greater risk, but um, it would enable us to install Kor Adric as soon as possible. Mm. That, the ultimate decision I think you need to make this evening is do you wish, where do you wish to fight him? And what preparations will you make? I say we keep him away from the thrones. That's more of a threat if he can get these ancient stone cast dragons. It will take them time to reach there, but yes, once they are awakened, we will not be able to do anything until Cor uh, Adric sits on the throne again. I don't know. I'm a hand down and a part of my brain went with it. Usually I'm really switched on. <laughs> I leave um, this to you. Okay. Reynard, I value that you are a clever individual when it comes to these matters. Um, Balathis, Reynard, and I think Miss Jing, I think the three of you need to make this decision then. Mm. Um, okay. I mean, the airship is huge. A couple of dragons, huge as they might be, how much damage would they do in the time it takes for an airship to fly across the, to get Korak to the City. Thing is, is the airship is so big, it probably wouldn't be that useful because it's quite slow. Yeah. Oh, it is it's, slow it's, as well. It's, it's, I thought it's, 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 but it can travel constantly. It's, it's, it's like a big steamboat, right? It's like, too useful as well to tell as well at the moment. Like it's, yeah, that's true. it's a real asset and then rebuilding efforts. You'd almost, something like the Bronze Griffin would be probably be quicker because you can get through the city streets oh, yeah. and things like oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's the Bronze Griffin? I've got a Bronze Griffin. That, well, it holds I up like a little like miniature a, of like a Bronze Griffin. This will fly him to where he needs to be. This. It's like a little tiny bronze griffin. <laughs> and then you I just... turn into a much larger bronze <laughs> griffin. And it just <laughs> explodes in size. This majestic brass, uh, bronze creature. Wow. Some little okay. tiefling children nearby are like... 
There you go. He does a little jig. Okay, so we can ride the bronze griffin? No, it can carry two medium creatures at most. Yeah. Um, but Maybe getting... three at a push. Well, there's the, the on there's young dragons guarding the gates as well. But it's super nimble, isn't it? It's nimble. But, but... they're going to know as soon as you approach the, the city. It's nimble-ish, actually. Um, if you think that the bronze griffin might be able to outpace them, perhaps, or at least the bronze griffin is smaller, it may be oh. able to navigate through narrow streets or such. If I, you want to do that, that's fine. I can go ahead that way and start doing uh, gathering mm. intelligence. I mean, from previous experience, it won't be able to uh, out, outpace a dragon. No, that's <laughs> I tried that before. It's got teeth marks on its back. Yeah. If you look at it. Um, but it's a thing that so, exists. Well, it's up to you. I, I, I'm. I'm an agent that's working for you guys, really, so you decide what you want me to do and I'll do it. So, um, do you think it's better that we fight in the Colosseum and try and lure him out so that the city witnesses? We have ways of transporting Adric to the throne quickly. It would be better also to see him die in front of, for everyone in the city to see him. I believe so. As I do not relish death, but Korak is an individual where he is beyond saving. Plus, it's kind of difficult to say that, no, this isn't, this isn't Korak anymore, this is Andric. The twin yeah. brother looks exactly like him. I think Plus, you might be able to, to see that. The city are people. aware of Andric, they know who he is. Right. Many believe him dead. But just word of mouth saying that yes. they've been swapped, people may not believe it Plus, unless they it see it. Yeah, you might be able, also able to swing some favor if it's another dragonborn that is able to, and I mean this with no offense, control a dragon. Um, actually, would. Would Korak's dragon ability to control dragons, would that affect you? It may do. Well, that's not good. I... is fine. I trust Adric with my heart. He would not command me to do anything I wish. No, Korak. No, Korak. Oh, potentially. Well, that's a, that's a that big... That changes things quite substantially. <laughs> it's possible. He could set you on Adric. He may be able to. Who I may be able to mentally... I thought he's Amarillith. Adric. No, oh, this yeah. is Amaryllith. This is the woman. The, oh, speaking. right. The, oh. It is a silver dragon. The silver okay. dragon could be commanded by the bad Korak to go for Adric. It's possible. I, I suspect I will be able to try and mentally the, resist him. Okay. But... I might, I might be able to... Is that something I could counter spell or not? I do, I do not believe this is a spell. This right. is an inherent Magic. part of be, being yeah. the Worm King. You well, it's just the risk we're going to have to take. It's fraught with risks, isn't it? It is. I is it's our only option. We, she's already said that she's not the best fighter anyway, so even if things do go badly, it's not exactly like we're giving him a, a, an incredible weapon. How close to the city are we now? My, my oath to Bahamut may even protect me from the, from the compulsion. I don't forget uh, that I, I existed long before Andrek and Korak. I was an original dragon from during the war. Cougar. <laughs> even older than the ancient dragons? Made from stone? Uh, technically, yes, although because I was trapped in stasis, I have not. <laughs> I would be best. as powerful of them if I had not been trapped in stasis. Fine, okay. But I am still nearly an adult compared to my other brethren. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't clap. <laughs> it's time. I think we've discussed it. It is time to read some donations. Well, I was, but I was, I was, I've gone. Damn. Let's get in the car. <laughs> that's all I was going to say. So, uh, just so yeah. I know, are you going to fight me in the Coliseum? I think, I think that's where we're going. Yeah. 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 All right. And, and just, are we going there via my means your, or your griffin? I think uh, your, your means. To uh, sneak in. I guess through the traps or what, the area they said it was new traps. Well, there's, hot, there's gates. Using. How many gates are there? There's red? Three gates. Red, gold, and the river gate. We've got so the, river gate. the river gate. So we'll get the river gate, but we need to walk out for traps. One of the traps. Which I can do. Uh, only if you go through the sewers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's but just you'll just need to convince guards. Otherwise, we'll okay. go through the river gate by your means. Yeah, which... Got them. So, okay, well, so Korak, you and Lady Amarith can disguise yourselves as yeah. chromatic dragons. Yeah. Juto can appear like a slave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Slave boy! What do you want to do about these you two? You can say that. Um, <laughs> I can either try and minor illusion you, I can su suggest I've the guards don't self. search the cart. You've got disguise self. I, can ah. I, I was one thinking... So it's I only him, so you can stuff him in a crate. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'll go in a crate. <laughs> Get in the crate, Reynard. I can okay. Put you in a bag of holding. Oh, yeah. In a bag of holding, you can and hold just your breath. Put a little straw out. You have to hold your breath. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Won't you? That's not okay. All right. Leg up. Well, <laughs> okay. sounds like that's the plan. Sounds Didn't like we, we have a plan for next time. Yeah. Nice. And, and I'll find you a safe house and do some reconnaissance. I think. I think that will be the very last episode <laughs> of Lightfall Campaign. 
next step. I think the so. Final... I think that because there'll be a bit of we'll hand wave some travel time. So we'll start off with you sneaking into the city. We'll pretty much then time skip to you making yourself on the Colosseum, and I think that that's that's it. That's, that's going to be the end. The end. Long. Next episode. Yeah. All right. So I think unless everything goes south, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> unless everything really goes badly. Obviously, we're not just going to end it no matter what. Like, if there's a few things we need to wrap up, it, unfortunately, the weekend after, I am going to be away in LA. Um, so it would be a great time to finish. So it be, but yeah. again, we're not going to force it to no. finish. Yeah. We want it to finish properly. But I think, providing you guys don't fuck up, yeah. either you'll all be dead or you'll all succeed. Does he get so I can roll. Yes, Lady Emmerich will regenerate your arm, basically. Oh, it's, oh, it's a ro uh, regenerate. I thought yeah, it was a roll. I wanted to... It does mean that she is down her seventh level spell slot. Can I try a pack. divine intervention first? Considering she said tomorrow. I, do you want to, or do you want to use the seventh level spell slot she'll get back? <laughs> do you want to use it? I ask Lady Amrilith first. Yes. And she's like, okay. it's fine. Boop. Yep. She tried divine intervention and got 96. So. I have fun with the small arm first. Okay. So, um, with that, yeah, next episode will be the final one. Make uh, sure to watch it and tell everybody. Tell everybody to watch. Even if they've not everyone. followed the rest of the series, they should come and watch it anyway. It's a big finale. Yeah. It's a big finale. And then so, when Mark's in LA, yes. we're going to do like a players, &A. players Gone Rogue stream. Oh, um, QA. Yeah, and it's going to involve a QA. We've taken some questions for Mark, but if you have. Any more um, for that stream? Tweet it to the um, High Rollers D and D account, yeah. and I'll try and get him. And if you've like... got ones that are like DM specific, like yeah. what we're going to do is I'm going to write answers in envelopes, and when certain keywords, like people ask Whoop. certain questions, Girly. there'll be like <laughs> an envelope that these there'll guys be a, can hopefully open. An they won't know. Like it'll be like yeah. fresh for them as well. We so. won't know. Yeah. And with the campaign being over, we should be able to answer any questions you have. Well, maybe no. we'll see. Well, well unless like it's about answer, future stuff. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. but like they're just there might not be a very satisfying answer. Yeah, yeah it'll just be anyway. Like... But we can reveal all. Yes. So let's read some donies. Uh, Ola Renve, thank you very much uh, for your donation. Very kind. Uh, Nightjar donated. Had a pretty abysmal week due to work and health stuff, but at least for the next three hours or last three hours, by the time you're reading this, none of that matters because high rollers. Also, Hap Buff Smith. Also, please give Katie a love. We will. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. And yeah, thank you for the birthday, Hatcher. Smith. Zero the Duke. Steve's there. Okay. Uh, Zero the Duke. Uh, Smith, I'm so sorry for breaking character at Empire the other week. As for the lot of you, I'm sure I've got a lot to look forward to in the VOD squad. Shit's getting intense, and I can't believe we're getting so close to the true end. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. I don't just, even just remember. stay in character. I think I think I know what he's talking okay. about. Okay. Basically, the person was talking to me, and then they were just like, by the way. And I'm like, stay in character. And then they got really like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Just stay in character. Just stay in character. Yeah. Uh, Dancing on fire. Happy birthday, Smith. Thanks for spending it with us. And Sash looks fabulous. Oh, thank you. Happy Sunday to everyone else. I almost didn't wake up in time to watch. Thank you very much. Uh, Smith, do you want to read some? Sure. Just r rattle through a bunch. Uh, generic evil genius donated. So a few friends and I are spending next weekend at a cabin we rented in the woods. Mm -hmm. Nothing but good friends and a weekend of D&D slash board Oh, yeah. Also, shout out hammer. to my lovely girlfriend, Mianis. I love her lots, even if she does refuse to thin her mini paint. What? <laughs> Outrageous. How oh, dare she. Ridiculous. Uh, say DMO Dr. No Cheese. Dr. No Cheese. Sorry, the kerning there was difficult to read. Donated 200 Twitch bits and said, kerning. So glad to finally see a stream. I started watching in February and finally caught up. You guys rock and Smith is sexy as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> he is. Keeming. Keeming. That's actually in there. Is it? Keep, well, it's kerning, kerning but yeah. if you have bad kerning on kerning, you get keeming. Varys donated <laughs> $10. Thank you very much, Varys. Patrick Stewart donated $30 and search for oh, an anagram for Balathus Gurnak and got... Ashtray Bang Elk. <laughs> Happy birthday, Smith. Oh, that's oh, that was thank, the intention, right? Thank you, yeah. Logan. Oh, thank, thank you, Logan. Ashtray <laughs> Bang Elk. Yes, me. Ashtray. Hello. All right, okay. I'll do so. Marvin Kosh, Denade. Hi, guys. Loving the Brasaris arc so far. Old friends reunited. Dragon Ball teleporting in as professional moment killers. <laughs> Spells fizzling and the new guy flops around the floor in the high rollers tradition. Watch out for flying balconies, Smith. <laughs> yeah, seriously. We get killed by <laughs> yeah. those balconies. We get yeah. ripped off and thrown at us a lot. Oh, so good. good. Bad. It's Mori Minor. Donated. Hiya. Still playing cat. Up, so I'm not watching live just yet. I'm on episode 57 soon. Just want to say you inspired me to get into D&D and play my first session on Friday. It was great. I'm a tiefling sorcerer with an insatiable desire to steal stuff. Classic. Uh, everyone's I everyone a tiefling sorcerer. Yeah. yeah. It's good shit. Uh, 
I'll do the last one. Metamani donated a $30. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Smith. Thank you. Be proud. Thanks to you, Cam's now missing an eye. <laughs> what a great day. Mark, I don't want to know what's in your head. <laughs> the double nat one was unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> great <laughs> thing. Yeah. I said to the guys, like, it would have worked if it wasn't for that double so nat one. Funny. Yeah. Unbelievable. Go, Kim. Into tooth. Has donated. Uh, I bet I lost a bet last week, so here is my uh, my part. Original donation was well, we both lost lost the tiefling name bet, so here's my heart. There you go. Fair enough. Very much. Uh, Davardees has donated. Well, Bellathus, I have to hand it to you. You really dropped the ball with Cam. Top episode as always. Lol. Uh, Tarwin Greenwood has donated. Congratulations, Smith. Your actions today will never be forgotten. Also, is Cam's Demetra-related mark still there, or did it go with the arm? Went with the I arm. I was going to ask, yeah. Went with the arm. Oh, my God. Um, what is Demetra-related mark? So he burnt a man alive and got branded as, like, basically a murderer. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's gotten gotten it's gotten it's gotten no worries. Yeah. All you have to do is lop your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> um, as always, thank you for your great work. You have directly and indirectly brought me joy, bleh, brought joy to me and countless others. Nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Ace of Thorns. Uh, that has to be some kind of record. Losing a prisoner and a companion's arm? We need an achievement pop up for that. Achievement get. Oh my god. A great moment in a great stream. That was a pretty Keep them coming. Hugs. Nice one. you, kiddo. Hi, Donna Ken. Uh, hi, Rollers, and happy birthday, Smith, you absolute avatar of D&D chaos. Thank you. That's him. Um, and then read the old. All right. <laughs> Awkward dog boner! This week's boner rating. Happy birthday, Alec, out of 20. My adorable ginger baby girl is growing up. <laughs> raging hard on moment. What's raging? My hard on. Is that what you said? Yeah, that's Fuck. what she said. <laughs> Tim Richard, stay classy, woman. <laughs> Erection rejection moment. Juto was too slow to lend Cam a hand. Oh, Hashtag yeah, was, bone on I was Sunday. I was you trying, did try. You tried. And old no tail. The game guy. Uh, hi, Rollers. Another great session as always. I hope Katie can make the last episode next week. Law question for Mark. What do the dragons think of the worm throne? I imagine a powerful and immortal evil dragons don't like being bossed around. Hashtag well, not all, not all dragons are immortal, but yeah, some of them don't like it, obviously. But yeah, different things. And finally, Frost Giant 521 missed last week's episode, so I'm a part of the VOD squad this week. Firstly, Smith, happy birthday. Secondly, whatever happened to the Burning King, the tiefling... Uh, that's a, that's a question That's a question. That's a question, that's a question for next week. And I've already Save it. it down. Yeah. So. Uh, there you go. We've love you all as always, and I will miss you guys at MCM. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody, for the donations. Um, we hope to enjoy this episode. Like I said, potentially next week it should be the last final episode. Obviously, we'll let you know on Twitter and stuff It'll as well. Be big, bad, and banging anyway. Yeah, regardless. I think like it might be the kind of thing where maybe I speak to Sam and just say, "Listen, can you stick around for a bit if we need to kind go of go on for like an extra hour or something like that?" How oh. much else has the dragon got? Oh, only four hundred more. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Firebolt. Time out of spells. Firebolt. It so, healed to full. <laughs> next week, nine-hour session. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he's still going. <laughs> tune in for that one. We'll be back next week. Big thank you to Smith for once again as joining us as a guest. Oh, thanks, so much. Um, and uh, yeah, we will see you then. Don't forget the stream of many eyes and everything else get your sh shirts and stuff like that see you next time see you next week see bye 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 bye